What up, yo? I go by the undeniable name of Damo, never been a lame O. It's your boy Lamar, aka King Lamar. I fuck with the energy, man. I fuck with it, yo. I you know do. I like that. Yo, this it's is Jay Willer, the podcast killer. All right. AKA Podcast Poppy, aka the Power Father. And guess what? What? My guys. Mm-hmm. What? This right chair is Willer Wednesdays, man. Mm-hmm. I'm about to get some ghetto news mm-hmm. from your relationship gurus. <laughs> ah, I dedicated to be the new. Mari, so I gotta, I can't do the bow when y'all you feel do me? it. Bow, cuz what's the word? What's the vibes? What's going on, Bredgen? What's happening, brothers? Talk to me nice. I ain't see y'all in a good little minute. I'm what's excited happening? to see y'all. You miss us? A little bit. Yeah. Right. It, 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 make, it makes shirt, sense. Son. It makes we, sense. We, we Come on, the shirt. It's we, 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 I mean, the, the, the classic shirt. We, 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 okay. we doing okay. the damn thing. We, we gonna get you some. It's okay. I don't want. I don't want one of your <laughs> no, shirts. We, we, no, we, we gonna get <laughs> you your shirt. No, we gonna get you your shirt. I don't want one. Look at. I don't like Dame shirt. It's a bad quality. This is the first one. It's big at the bottom and the top. Damn. I don't like your shirt. It this already, is the first version, bro. It already came dirty. I don't all, like all it. All that hate in your blood is it's showing. It's, it's not hate in my blood. I'm good. I don't want a Willow Wednesday shirt. You fellas, see me? Fellas, how was y'all week? Talk to me. What's going on? Good week, man. Uh, I think I finally uh, close on my spot tomorrow. Oh! My man. Let's, so let's go. Let's get it. Okay. You are no longer homeless. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. He be out here... I was born <laughs> by the river. Living in my car. So, yeah. <laughs> Listen, <Yeah>. river, <laughs> river, 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 river. <laughs> no, but that's what's up, man. That's I'm, cool. I'm happy for you, man. You about to close and yeah. embark on your, your. I'm like nervous. You're nervous. Anxious. Good, good, wow. good, nervous. Like, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Good, good, anxious. Good, my boy. Yeah. Moving into your first crib in the A. That's what's up. Yeah, man. So it's all good. You, know what I'm saying? Okay. you about to, you about to be having them joints coming through, huh? You know, you know what I'm saying? About to be, yeah. Like one, I mean, like another chick every other day. Like I got me some cutty last night. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's gonna yeah. be good. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's what's uh, up. All type of sex. What I about like you, you Bredrin? What's going on with you in your uh, life? Um, I could walk. I was about to say that. You feel that me? You the feel boot me? is gone. Mm-hmm. I had um my, my dumb ass. I had put some Chelsea boots on uh, coming here, and then I had to change it in the car because I realized my foot not ready for all that. I need comfortable shoes. Right. And he's very comfortable, but. I can walk today, um, so I'm not humble no more. Okay, I will, I will act like this is the Oscars to anybody. I had to be humble for a week because I had a boot, and mm-hmm. I knew that I would lose any fight that I got into. Oh, okay, so, so now, I'm gotta, now you back. In I don't your got bag. a boot no more. I'm back. Heavy. I'm back heavy. You see the hoodie on. Okay. Right? Um, <laughs> okay. Also, uh, and it's velour. Heard it. Talk it's to velour. me. What's up? It's a, it's I mean, it's a luxury that's, ass that's whipping a, that's, that you're gonna that's get. Money on that side of the room all right down, now. You got a velour hoodie on. It's different. Relax, I just work here. But um, one thing that's finally launching, uh, doing big things, uh, Blessed and Beautiful Luxury Rentals, right? We just secured uh, two new vehicles and, um, okay. and three new units and two in New York and one in the A. So oh, I'm shit. actually very, very Okay, wait a minute. Very, All right. very excited. Can we get our drops? Can we get our drops, please? Can so we get some drops? We need to get our drops. All right, work. very, very, very. Drop worthy. We need air horns. Very and excited. You feel me? I'll work on it. I'll work that's on it. That's what's up, bro. Congrats, this, Yeah, bro. no, that's what's this up. This 2022 bag is going to look very, very hefty. Oh, yeah. I got some music videos I'm trying to, trying, trying to do in the next couple, like, month, month and some change. I, I need some some whips. What's going on? Uh, yeah, we can help you. We can help you with that. Cool. You see, that's what I'm talking about, man. I'm yeah, talking I got a couple banks I want to rob. Can you... Supply. Getaway drivers. That, Whips. that is that is that is. Uh, listen, you should have you CDL. Should have caught me in 2020. Uh, <laughs> Do you have a CDL? Nah, I don't. I got uh, a brink truck that needs to be operated. Yo. You don't need a CDL for that. <laughs> okay, all right. Oh, all right. <laughs> okay. Well. You don't need a CDL for the brinks. Yeah, let me have the box man. trucks that you got. If you need somebody to gang, gang, it won't be me. But let me okay. I could give but you. But you might advice. know somebody who might know. somebody. I'll give you consultation for a fee. Got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. Yeah. But how was how was your week, Jay? Nobody cares. So your day. It's okay. I knew it was coming. Um, I've just learned to over talk y'all now. So what happens <laughs> is, right, I missed the show last week. Yeah. Um, I watched the episode. You ain't want to be here. I mean, I didn't. I, I get I get sick and tired of you. I get sick and tired of you. didn't want to talk me, to y'all. Me and Lamar just been working the whole plan the whole time. It's all good. I mean, it's, okay. it's cool. It's all good. Well, I will it's say, right. We have a new logo with just our faces. <laughs> cool. Cool. But I would like to say happy birthday to my daughter. That's the reason why oh, I missed the show yeah, last week. Oh, course. man. That's beautiful. How did the show do? She turned two. Okay. I mean, so happy birthday to her. Word. That's the reason why I was not here last week. You have episode. a daughter. Yeah, that's I do crazy. have a daughter. Yeah, I have a daughter. That's, that's crazy. a lot. And I also have multiple firearms. <laughs> and that button that they talking about with the nukes, I got one of those too. <laughs> you got a nuke <laughs> button? We got a nuke button. You feel me? Like, but um, I, 
it's funny because like in life shit be happening and we always come in here talking about oh what happened with your week and we never say right. actually what happened in our week but I got some shit to actually talk about what happened in the fucking week I always, okay. I always actually genuinely talk about I mean, you say that but if I came in here was like I don't know what's going to happen you'd be like alright my nigga we doing the show like nah, <laughs> nah. fucking care like, I, oh we supposed to say the depressing shit too <laughs> just, what's your week uh, you had a depressing week? No, but y'all not gonna over talk my week though. Y'all we, to remember, week. we don't care. I'm just saying. Look, so <laughs> I'm in the airport. I never remember the stressful stuff. I'm really thinking like that's a good thing though. That means you, you let it just roll. I mean, off. you good, yeah. You feel me? You, you it's been up. a pretty great week. You I let, don't <laughs> let it affect you. Hey, bro. But back. look, listen. I had a weird like conversation with a random white guy at a bar. Okay, that's how and, that's how it always starts. You say <laughs> it's it every story. No, it's crazy, but. <laughs> And the bar is at the airport. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah the airport so bar. So I, um, I get to the airport extra early, and I'm just sitting there. What you doing at the bar? You ain't supposed to be drinking. Exactly. So like, like I said, my week was fun. Like, okay. let me talk about it, right? Okay. So I get to the airport while early. My flight is in like three, four hours. Um, I'm hungry. They got a Friday's in the airport. I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah. I can go get something to eat. And I'm eating healthy as well. I mean, I'm on my little health journey, you feel me? So hey, I go and get a grilled chicken. And some nice. some some broccoli, you know what I mean? Some some regular shit. Yeah. And and my and, you know what I mean, so that's my plan. So I'm I'm sitting there waiting. The, the um homies like, yo, we don't got no tables right now, but we got spots at the bar. Sounds normal for Fridays. So, so me, I'm like, yeah, fuck it, let's go to the bar. I then sit at the bar and I'm like, fuck. Yeah. I'm not drinking. Yeah. I never thought I was an alcoholic until I sat down at that bar and watched this nigga pour wild drinks. And I'm just there like. And you was upset? <laughs> Nigga, I, it's weird. I felt like a pull. Like, yo, go get a drink. And I'm like, I know I'm not getting a drink. I don't want to drink. Go get a drink. <laughs> and I, I'm wow. like, yo, am I addicted to alcohol? I I, I don't want to say, I don't know if it's addiction. I it's would not, say. Go ahead. You, it's, it's a, it's a, it, yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's low key addiction. Yeah. I was trying to like justify no, yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. Trust me, I, I had a whole battle yeah, within myself, right? Yeah. I, I had a whole battle within myself sitting at the bar, right? I'm like, yo, get the fuck out of here. So I'm like, yo, can I get a water, please? Like, so yeah, I manned up. I, ain't, I I didn't drink long That's story short, right? That's but, good. <clears throat> excuse me. What happened was um, the highlights for the um, NCAA, the women's tournament was on. Mm -hmm. And I guess. Um, everybody, you know, the bartender, he, he, cool dude, I forgot his name, but he was just chopping up or whatever, we was talking. Um, White dude? Nah, black dude. No. The bartender was black, right? Um, and I get to just people watching, because now I'm not drinking, but I'm at a, I'm in a place where everybody's right. drinking, right? Right, mass over. So, like, a, a, a group of uh, a, a black dudes pull up, mm -hmm. and they order whatever they're ordering, and then the guy's like, do y'all want to split the tab or have it on one tab? And immediately the guy was like, nah, put it on one tab and we got it. We're going to take care of it. And then they leave. And then another black group comes up mm -hmm. and they order drinks, beer, whatever the case may be. And they're there like 30 minutes or whatever. And then the guy's like, you want to split the tab or share the tab, whatever you're going to do it. And the guy was like, nah, put it on the one tab. We're going to cover it that way. Mm. And then a group of white dudes came in and that's when it got interesting. Mm. A group of white dudes came in. And they order what they order, and they're sitting right next to me. So as we're watching the highlights, he's talking to me, and he's like, "Yo, you're drinking water at a bar, bro." He's like, "He's like, so we kicking it now, really? Right? We're kicking it." <laughs> yeah. He from Cleveland. Okay. I told him about the show. Like we had a conversation. Yeah, like, yeah. Is he watching? Are you? I don't know. Random white guy at the bar. I mean, like, if, if you're Shout watching, out to you. if you're watching, what's up? Yeah, uh, yeah. You know it's a real story. So we talking about the highlights, or whatever. And he's like, "Oh, how his daughter is nice, and his daughter was whoop." Anybody on TV ass? I'm like, okay, so you you about your daughter about to be nice, but then the bartender comes up and he's like, yo, you guys, um, they, they're ready to leave now. He's like, yo, you gonna, um, how you gonna split the bill, pay the bill? The guy was like, oh, this guy, he has fucking money. We, he's gonna pay his own shit, and like they had a whole thing. So then, wait, the white people? Yeah. Oh, this is new. So this is interesting. Once again, I'm, I'm people watching. I'm like, wait, so the, the black people came up and we shared. We gonna we gonna pay it one time and just be done. Yeah, with yeah. It. White people came in. And he's like, go oh, fuck out of here. This guy got money. So then I'm like, I'm laughing now because he's saying this out loud. Like the, the whole bar now is Are they joking one. or are you serious? No, he's joking. Oh, oh okay. I got you. But no, he was joking with the, the, I guess the words he was saying, but the actions was dead ass serious. They oh. paid their own shit. Oh, wow. But I, the bar is now one because everybody's all laughing and cracking jokes. Gotcha, gotcha. But mm -hmm. the, the whole premise was if I paid for this guy all the time, I would be broke and he would have money. Thusly, he pays for his shit, I pay for my shit, and we go about our business, and we both have money together. 
Mm-hmm. And it was just weird to me because all the black people came up and was like, nah, we're going to put it on one tab because fuck all that. We're just going to pay it one time and be done with it. Hmm. But the white people, and I... I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to get at, but... No, I know I was, exactly what you're trying to get at, mm-hmm. and I would love to comment on it. Sure. I say, so I've been a, a, a server. Um, most of my professional career in the workforce has been a server or a bartender, mm-hmm. right? And I could definitely say that what you experienced, I did not... Like, majority of the time, did not experience. Mm-hmm. Where you usually have um, white people usually covering the tab, they're not arguing over it. A, you know, African-American table or ethnic table... Is usually splitting the bill. Mm-hmm. I only had right. this. I only has fright. <laughs> yeah, and and, a, and two fries. Okay, I need a you to break. Nah, I need you to I'm break a, this I'm down. A, I'm a salady nigga who always end up. Let's split it. Up. Yeah, six. No, like, nigga I, had a salad. Yo, I remember one time I was I, when I was <laughs> I twenty three. Everybody just pays six. I went out when I was twenty three. No. I went out for my man's uh, birthday. Had no bread. I, I and he told me. I went out there. I was like, I'm not spending more than thirty dollars. I ordered something that was up to twenty dollars. Right. I was going to tip ten. Mm-hmm. Right. Everybody, a shorty at the table was like, everybody, let's just split. It's like 100 a person. I said, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. excuse me? Excuse the fuck? Exactly. Full blown argument. Exactly. And I didn't pay 100. And I still <laughs> smashed my way. But, uh, but no, so I, I don't experience that. But what I, what, I, what I would say is that in Atlanta, you do see a lot more African Americans with bread. Yeah. Mm. So it's also about the amount of bread that people got. You know what I'm saying? So if, if we all make four hundred thousand plus for the year, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. what's a hundred dollar tab when you got the last one? You know what I'm saying? Got gotcha. you. We all have. I a, mean, if yeah, if I think if we all had like for real money like that, I don't think that would be a problem at all. It, it'd be like I got it, whatever. You, Bro, you, you, there's a it, group what, of you know entrepreneurs mean? in Atlanta that I follow. Shout out to Neo Davis. Uh, shout out to the whole circle of CEOs. They literally have this thing. Let's say we all go out to eat, right. right? We all go out to eat. We know that when we go out to dinner, whatever, we're not checking the tab. We're not checking nothing. We're all going to eat. And then at the end of the night, we're going to play card roulette. Mm. We're going to take Dame's hat, expose whatever's under there, mm-hmm. and we're going to all put our cards in, our credit cards in the hat. Shit up. Shake it up and let the <laughs> server pull it. And whatever card that whatever is, they pay for is. the whole time. Wow, that's cool. Oh, that's actually dope. You know what I'm saying? And if you can't play that game, if you're not comfortable Don't playing go. that game, <laughs> then you can't really hang with us. It's like a sit with us type of thing. And so you got to make sure you stay on your grind, yeah, get your bread you, I, to be in that circle. I'm I'm in the same mindset. I'm not going to split a bill. I'm sorry. Well, no, no, I'm I no, I, I hear what you're saying. I'm, I'm, yeah, I am. I am. I'm but, still but I, in that I, mindset. At the same time, I'm I'm a, I'm a, it, it I'm, a, on I'm, a key, I'm a key. I'm I'm very big on. Know who the fuck you're going with. Right. There are that's, groups for different things. Say. Yeah, that's what you, I was you got your vacation group friends. Right. Mm-hmm. You got your going out to eat group friends. You got your hitting the club friends. You mm-hmm. got your bowling friends. You got your work buddies. There's right. groups for different shit. Agreed. If, if, right. If, if I know I'm going with my group, we Gucci like that. Like whatever, we of gonna course. split it down the way because that's what we do. Right. We like like split it down the middle. It don't matter. No, or no you matter about what. Somebody just. Cover the tab. No, no, we're gonna split it down the middle, just or pay. one person's gonna pay it, and we're all just gonna just, send just out one person. Cash to bread. Each other, just because we, yeah. the group that I'm talking about, we don't want to have that conversation yeah, 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 yeah. or confrontation at the I, fucking table. That I shit is that. I completely understand. But this you got to you you, you know your group. This nah. my, this my dropping. You gotta know your group. But yeah, mm-hmm. I was at the bar and I just literally picked that up and I was like, okay, this is weird. But no, it, it was it was it was one interesting to sit at the bar and not get a drink. I thought that was pretty interesting. Mm-hmm. And then it was interesting just the people watching, just to see people's mannerism. It's it's so funny just to watch people. People watching it should be an Olympic sport. So one thing I do um, with any with women that I've dated, that's how we bond. People watching what? Oh, go out that's to go dope, actually. to go out, go somewhere, oh, yeah. and we sipping on something, and we just and we we put. I remember I had an ex. We literally sat down and we'll like. Say their whole life story and backstory. Oh yeah, play the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they yeah. look like they be fighting before they right, go out. Right, right, right. That's kind of dope. No, that's like, dope. It's like, fun too. That's kind of like, dope. Oh wow! And then and then let's say they're interacting. I'm like, ah, right, you be you be her, I be him. Mm-hmm. And then she'll talk see, it, I'm talking. You know what I'm saying, let me find out you got some game about yourself. Yo, brother. Let hey me man, find out you got hey something over there. Man. My name is really my name used to be P Diddy, but it's really Brother Love. Okay, okay, Brother Love. Gotta watch you say that too, brother. <laughs> I'm saying. Down here. Yeah, it's a lot of lovely brothers. I, I got stories about that. Ooh. Ooh. What? 
Yo. 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 Let's, <laughs> right, let's, let's get this show started. Let's get this show started. Bro. Bro. <laughs> Let's that seemed like that was about to take a turn. It's just it. a story, bro. bro we, got we, got, it. we got a lot, bro. We got, we got a lot. lot. Have you been hit on yet? Speaking of hit on, <laughs> um, <laughs> like <laughs> great. I like that. Like that? that was like impressive. That. You like that? Like you like that? It was so quick. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna hit on you like we'll let the Oscars. the whole world. Has literally been talking about the same thing for a long time. Yeah, you want to so, start here or you want to? Nah, let's start somewhere. Else. Okay, cool. That's what? What, that's Why? What I'm like, I, like let's, I, let's tackle the 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 the, the, the Oscar know. in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, I, uh, bro. I, like I, that. I can't because anything else we talk about, I'm gonna be thinking about that the whole day. All right, well, I, all right, bro. When it happened, thirty minutes later, wait, the wait, world wait, was on fire. Can I can I just give just five minutes to the Oscars themselves? Well, let's, let's talk about Because I feel it. like nobody got it, bro. Damn, man. Let's, let's talk about nobody it. Nobody has talked about the it's actual not. Oscars, Wait, man. Can I, can I be honest with you? Yeah. Um, I didn't know that the Oscars were even on TV. Same. I didn't either. Uh, cool, cool. I, I, thought, I, I thought I was just out the loop. No, the viral video, and that's part of what I want to talk about, too. But like, okay. I, I didn't even know the, the Oscars The viral were video on. of the slap made people be like, the Oscars is on? No, but the, what I'm saying is I didn't see advertisements. I didn't see a commercial. I saw Early. nothing about the Oscars at all. Is that a normal thing? I I also haven't. Um, I've, I've tuned out of, of award shows a long so, time. So, so TV. With well, I, I haven't watched TV. Well, I don't be saying I don't watch TV. I don't watch regular TV with commercials. I watch streaming services. Yeah. Mm. Um, and then I bootleg all the streaming services. <clears throat> yeah. So they don't. Uh, <laughs> yo, bro, my bad. You know, somebody texted me earlier today. I was like, "Hey, how you doing? Do you need help with the Netflix bill? Because I haven't paid my Netflix in about like three weeks." Oh, and they was weeks. on your shit. <laughs> so, oh, your so Netflix about to come. So off? somebody who still had access was like, "Hey, by the way, <laughs> you need help?" I said, <laughs> <laughs> "Whoa, whoa, what, what?" Wait, wait. I said, <laughs> "I said, <laughs> <laughs> somebody hits you like, yo, said, you, you need something. You okay? Like, you, you okay? You, okay? you need help?" You're like, nah. I'm I, know the, said, I know the pandemic is. I mean, I said, "I'm about to change my password right now." Nah, okay, you should. Yeah, you should. Um, you know they about to, but well, they cracking down on that shit. Yeah, yeah, they're cracking now. I'm yeah. so excited. I don't, pay for all my. They'll never get me. Pay for all my streaming services out of pocket, and I'm proud about it. They'll never get I me. I mean, listen, once you, it's yours, man. Right. You feel good when you pay for some shit, don't it? Hulu, Netflix. Nope. HBO. <laughs> shit, what are you talking about? <laughs> HBO <laughs> Max. No, nigga, no. Definitely okay. feels better to have all that shit for free. Stars. Right? That's why I see everything. Like, I just up. canceled I Disney. I'm not really on that Disney Plus vibe right now. All right, I'm all that. Bad. Shout out to whoever Disney Plus I and got. my I Wi-Fi. All them shows. That's all I need. Um, but, uh, but go ahead, give us the, right, so give us the Oscars right Talk now. Talk about the Oscars, man. So, because I just want to give it some time, because like everything got overshadowed, y'all. Like this was supposed supposed to be one of the greatest Oscars. Because first off, um, obviously we know Will Smith won Best Actor, right? Yep, we know that, right? <laughs> it's literally twenty years after Jamie Foxx won. This was the anniversary. For the last time that, you know, a black man won Best Actor. So walking into it, it's like, oh, wait, wait, shit. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. When did Jay win Best Jamie, Actor Jamie for? Jamie Foxx won Best Actor for what, 20 years ago? Wait, was it 20? Hold on. It was I'm one like, of the, I'm sorry, it was anniversary. Ago. My bad. It was an anniversary. Damn. See, that's why I'm going to go down phone. Ghetto news. Ghetto news. We gave you 10 minutes to pull your phone Fact, out. You had a wild time to pull that but, bullshit out your you know pocket. So you anywho. Do, don't swipe your finger too fast across the screen. You might cut yourself. You stupid. I hate this damn phone. <laughs> Well, anyway, I'll talk about the other shit. We'll Google that part. Okay. Um, let, me, let me do some Just Google the, the, the anniversary, because it was an anniversary. And so it was an anniversary um, from when, he, uh, I believe, Training Day. and uh, when so Denzel, Denzel. When Denzel won for Training Day and Halle Berry, I believe that was 10 years ago. If that was 10, okay, cool. it wasn't 20 years ago. I don't think it that can't was too be 20. You said Jamie Foxx. I got ghetto news, brother. He was all over the place. All right, cool. Continue. Continue. You know what I'm so it's an anniversary for some niggas winning some shit. Thank you. Boom, shit. There you go. Sum it up, nigga. There shit. Go. It was an anniversary you got for it? niggas winning some shit. They were black. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right. So, speaking of black, the show was, uh, the production team was Will Packer. You know Will Packer? You know who that is? No? Nobody? Okay. That's the guy that does all of the black movies. So, um, what's the Steve Harvey book? Um, think like, think think like, like a, a Man, man. Girls Trip. Uh, Ride Along, all of the movies with Tiffany Haddish, and you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? It's the black director guy that does all these movies. Okay. So this is not the first time, but it's a it's the first time there was a whole black production team on the Oscars. That's never happened before. Okay. That's so it was just dope. mad shit that never happened. It was also hosted by th- uh, three women. It was um, Regina Hall, Wanda Sykes, and Amy Schumer, which is 
you know, I don't know how you feel about that. But Wanda Sykes is not funny. I'm sorry. Regina Hall is though, and okay. Amy Schumer. Yeah, sometimes. You know, Amy, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Listen, Amy Schumer had a great joke after the after the incident. She said. Hey, I was changing out of my Spider-Man costume. Did I miss anything? Because <laughs> the room was a little tense. Everyone broke out laughing. I was like, "Go, you go, white girl." I mean, like I said, she's she's. What's the Spider-Man joke about? I'm, I'm trying to get it. You didn't get that for real. Uh-uh. She, for real? she was wearing a Spider-Man costume before the incident with William, and then she went to go change. Then the incident happened. Then when she came back, she oh, said, she, she was actually wearing a Spider-Man costume. For some purpose, or I was like, I, I didn't know that. That's why I was, I'm, I'm dead ass serious. Okay, Even if cool. she was lying, it's just a joke. You know what I mean, but, that but funny, cool. All right. Whatever. Yeah. The point is, is women hosted the Oscars cool. for the first time, and you know, um, and then they always try to add that the, you know that Wanda's uh, you know gay. So I just be like, well, you know, gay rights too, right? She's just not funny. Uh, not yeah. to me, but Regina Hall is funny. Terribly unfunny. Regina Hall is funny though. Regina Hall is. funny. I fuck with Regina. Hall. I'm just saying, I would watch just for her. She don't look 51 at all. No, 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 no. and she fine as hell. So, um. <laughs> So let me see. It was that. Um, obviously, once again, Will Smith won um, Best Actor. Best Supporting Actress went for, um, a, it was a Spanish woman. I, I cannot pronounce her name. Arenana Debos, I want to say. But she's gay or queer is her word. She's queer and uh, a Spanish woman, which is just something that's never happened. A queer Spanish woman has never won Best Supporting Actress. And that was for, um, wow, a man on a little... I mean, but now I feel like we're doing the LeBron stat thing. No, hold on. On the third uh, Thursday when don't, it rains. Don't forget the um, the person who has the most international um, movie sales of I was, 27 I was about million. to go there. I was about to go there next. Samuel L. Jackson <laughs> finally at, gets an Oscar. At you know the age of 73. No, but they did that shit off camera. That's some fuck shit. Terrible. But it happened. Nah, bro. <coughs> but I agree. Give my man his five. Give seconds, him and give man. him his. Yeah. Give him, give him his shine. He give has him. the most sales of any of box office. Yeah. And the world didn't see it. Twenty-seven billion. And the world didn't see it. Did oh, not that's fucked up. Any anyone in the history of movies. And the world didn't see it. <laughs> right. We, we keep, still don't know. Like you, no <laughs> like, one knows. Yeah. That's crazy. I mean, I'm, tr- I'm trying to get his stats right now. <laughs> no, I'm saying, but that, that's crazy. It's like we're trying to let him know. <laughs> no, that's just fucked Samuel up. Samuel Jackson. The world don't even know who he is. I'm saying that's fucked up, bro. <laughs> he makes movies. Ain't no one's That nigga said all these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. They, they can't get this man five seconds, bro. Facts. That's Facts. crazy. Pulp Facts. fiction? He can't get five <laughs> seconds on TV? Like, come on, son. The fact that... um, it, And it's... Denzel gave it to him, which is pretty cool. And that's another thing. Y'all had two legends on the stage at the same time, and Facts. don't nobody know about this. That's crazy. Facts. I mean, yeah. So I, I uh, go, go ahead, run, run your stats down, Dave. Uh, I think that was pretty much. Mi- oh, fucking Questlove won for the. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Questlove won an Oscar for the uh, the Summer of Soul. Did you see? Um, it was basically a, a hidden concert in the '60s that just yep ran. Yep. Uh, you yep. know, saw it. Yep. Questlove produced that okay. and completely won an Oscar. And this is how I was going to slide into the slap. That was the Chris Rock Award. That was the award that Chris Rock was presenting. Questlove winning Summer of Soul. Remember how after you it happened. You've been talking shit. <laughs> yeah, you stupid. So you remember how when it, when it went down, which we get, and he was just like, and he was kind of flustered. And yes. he was just like, we, we given our documentary uh, award for documentary. Yes, okay, I got you. So what happened was. This quest love, yo. We all know who that is. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I, I'm. I, hold on, hold on. Let's 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 before let's, we let's, for before, for the people who probably don't who I mean, you live under everyone. a rock. But I'm just gonna do it. No, not yet, not yet. Let me just finish but with quest love. Referring to it, though. well, because but that was good. I'm gonna segue, gonna in, segue in, in, in and then we are gonna segue the fuck up. Trying to build. A, I mean, yeah, I'm trying to start there because right? that's where it started. Mm-hmm. So what happened was quest love's moment got overshadowed by what. By what we're going to talk about world. next. <laughs> right? But, um, and I just want to shout out Questlove because I've been following that man my whole life. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Musician wise. You Quest know, Love. like for real, bro. And like, and, and, been doing a damn thing and what's crazy time. is while the, the commotion was happening, he was in the back meditating. He was just like, I'm meditating. It's my moment. I don't know what's going to happen. He dead ass didn't even know. So he walks out like, I want to give thanks to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm here. It's been my whole life. I'm, I came. What's up with everybody? <laughs> like, what the mm-hmm. fuck is going on? You know what I'm saying? He had no idea that shit was happening. Damn. 
And so, I mean, you still a, so. The reason why I want to talk about the Oscars because however you feel about it, that's a lot of shit that happened at one time for, for black and you gotta say and brown I know people. You. No, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. But mm-hmm. you gotta say it like that's a lot of blackness happening. That one thing changed all of that history. Like that's crazy to me. I disagree with that last statement. Yeah. No, okay. No, 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 no. So talk. Okay. Hey, so what changed our perception of it? Or did, that that I, I we don't even know. I disagree with that last. So statement. okay. I mean, okay. Well, do we argue about that after we talk about this? Let's go talk for about it, bro. Let's, Let's go here. for it, bro. <laughs> yeah. All right. But All right. that's why I wanted to do that. So, um, over the weekend. <laughs> so, Sunday at the Oscars, uh, as Chris Rock was, went up there to present Questlove with, um, what was the name of the award? Best Documented uh, Full Feature. So, documentary, documentary Feature. Full yeah, yeah, Feature. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, as he was doing it, you know, Chris, you know, people go up there, they start speaking. Sure. Many comedians, you know, throw jokes, throw little jabs. Um, just to lighten the mood and to, you know, bring to bring more fun and We know what comedians do, Lamar. Come on, get to it, bro. <laughs> he, okay, now you interrupt. Now I'm, I'm getting He's you back. Uh, so, I'm getting you back. I'm getting you back. Go ahead. So <laughs> he basically comes out and Chris Rock takes the opportunity to joke on a couple people in the stands, uh, a couple mm-hmm. people in the crowd, and he jokes on uh Jada. He makes a G.I. Jane joke. Mm-hmm. Basically, he's saying, G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it towards Jada, referring to the fact that she had a bald head, mm-hmm. um, which the reason she does have a bald head is she is speaking on her, um, which is because of her alopecia, mm-hmm. right? So it's not, and she spoke about it publicly, <clears throat> and she's struggling with it, and it's been a vulnerable, um, sensitive situation. And immediately after he made that joke, Right, there was mixed reviews in the crowd, mixed responses, <clears throat> and Will Smith then got up, walked on the stage, and smacked the holy dog fire out of Chris Rock. Right, he took it like a man, and then he walked right but off the he? stage. I mean, he he took it better than I thought he would have. He was, I mean, I've, I've seen a lot of people he was, get. He was stuttering and flustered. No, no, I don't think no, he was stuttering and flustered because stuttering. he got smacked. He no. was stuttering and flustered because he got smacked. Live on air in front of hundreds and thousands of people. No, millions, bro. And millions. millions and millions of people live. at home. And so you have to question with yourself. No one else has been. No one else has been challenged been to a duel. Ceased. No one else. You. I'm, I don't think any other slap has been seen by that many people at one time. At the same time, you and then bugging out, bro. You you, you watch fucking love and hip hop these things. <laughs> No, but not live. Dog, but not live. With millions that's, of people. That's not people. disrespectful live, not live. Okay, wait, smack. I'm, I'm saying no other smack has happened live. I'm, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Millions of people. I'm just, this is just satire. I'm just, oh. I'm just being Because I'm like, nigga. Oh, oh. But, 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 we're not going to say that fucking Freddie P choking out Enes on making the band wasn't up there. <laughs> That nigga that got wasn't choked live. out live. Yes, the fuck it was. In, no. in New York, it was live, nigga. It that was wasn't a, live, bro. It was on a bro. billboard, bro. We watched that, that shit. It wasn't live. Freddy you imagine Billy a billboard? He <laughs> choked the fuck out that nigga. All right, go get it. All right. <laughs> so, Shout out to Freddie P and Ines. You know, making the I, band. <laughs> just, oh. yeah, everybody thought Ines was going to win. And <laughs> Freddie P put the beats on Yo, that. Yo, all right, go ahead, Dave. Come on, man. No, you stupid. All right. <laughs> Shout out to Freddie P, son. Um... Mm-mm. I don't think he was he wasn't flustered because he had got hit and low key he took that hit like he they and they, they you know at this point it's been analysis right to break down it game by <laughs> the play by no, no, play down because he got velocity. hit they was like he went bow but he took one step and recovered and they was like yo <laughs> like he's good like, damn I want I mean, it it wasn't, a, what? it wasn't a full wind up though. No, it was. It was. Will, he came from seven Will, o'clock. Will came from like here. Yeah, you. No, no, nah, nah, he came from seven. No, 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 he didn't. No, 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 he didn't. They I, got I, the I, clip. I watched it too many times, bro. bro I just he literally it. was here. He was, like, he was here. Challenge you to a duel. And actually, it was a bad slap. It if was. you, it, it, was, it was like bottom of the fingers. I try, look, was, I watched Joe Rogan and them break. You know, they they do the boxing. It was it was ill timed. It was a yeah. So 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 Will Smith smacked Chris Rock on live TV at the Oscars and walked back to his seat and then proceeded. The show went right on. Oh and no! No, no, you skipped. Hold on, time. you you skipped. He, he then verbally. Oh said, my bad. Because he, he we all let, let, let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go real quick. Right. So the man made a joke about man wife. Right. Like you said, mixed reviews in the crowd. Mixed reviews. Some people say, eh, some people say. Eh. Will like, Smith himself laughed. He did. He he himself laughed. That's crazy. He looked at his wife, saw the hurt that it caused. Now he got to jump into superhero mode. 
as most guys have been forced to do in life. As a man, you got to stand in front of that bullet and protect your woman. That's that, right? You know what I mean? So he. It was a bullet, though. Cool. He thought it was the best to protect his woman this way. He goes up there, handles his business, comes right. back. He then now says to this man while sitting down, keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. And Chris, Chris Rock, Rock says, says, okay. I got you. He then says again, keep my wife's name out your fucking with the, with the mouth. With the intensity. I will. <laughs> he said, okay, dude, I got you. No, he said, wow, dude. No, the first thing he said was, <laughs> he said, he said, he said wow, Will Smith just a- smacked the shit out of me. <laughs> Greatest said, joke ever, bro. I ain't going to front. Keep my wife's fucking joke. name out of your mouth. No, but that's why it's funny. <clears throat> but that's not a joke. That's that is, literally no. telling the world what just but happened. That's why time. it happened. That's why it's funny. No, that is, that is a joke. That's though. fucking that's hilarious, bro. You just got smacked. He was like, yo, I just got smacked. That's fucking hilarious, dog. And that was a joke. Me telling you what just happened is a joke? No, the recovery of that. It's it's. Jay Willow just put a bottle on that table. Nah, but that's not Bro, what it it's is. It's about the delivery timing and exactly what just happened. That's it. Even though he's repeating said thing. <laughs> Yo, why is it one of these every time? I don't know. <laughs> Even though he's repeating said thing because of when he did it and how he did it, that it is a little bit of a comedic relief. It's boom. Wow. I Will honestly, Smith just smacked I, the I, shit I, out of me. I honestly believe, that's incredible. Cool. I honestly believe, this is me, once again, my opinion. Yeah. I honestly believe that some wild shit happened in front of everyone's face, real time. And everyone instantly became uncomfortable. Oh, 100 percent. And literally anything you say after that, you will get that nervous chuckle. <laughs> nah, but what? So, so that's what, that's what, I'm what made it crazy from because Chris Rock is is fast, right? I'm pretty sure if Will wouldn't have did the little keep my name out your, you know, I'm pretty sure that would have went into a a thing. And I feel like Will was really trying to like send a message. You know what I'm saying? Like kind of like don't make this a joke. This ain't a joke. I want yeah, this to be well, well I get that name out your but it's like mouth. but it's it's people an overreaction it, people thought it was a skit I, I, well, I thought right. it, well a he, lot of people if, thought if it he, was staged if he didn't actually say something if he didn't actually say anything when he got back to his seat everyone would have thought that it was cause they, they would have just been like wow Chris, respond, Chris didn't stumble fight he didn't try to fight back right and he just said and the fact he said oh Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me like right imagine if that, that was staged mm-hmm. and that's the joke you make fun of Jada Will smacks you Ha ha, we keep going. We laugh at that. Mm-hmm. Oh, that wasn't, you know, and then, you know, everybody, it was, hey, we was made, you know, that was part mm-hmm. of the, 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 but by Will going off to show you that, no, I really smacked you for real. <laughs> like, that was real. Oh, that ass. And mm-hmm. that, that's, that's what everyone mouth, said. <gasps> yeah. That's the part that was awkward. And even Chris is like, okay, this ain't even fun no more. Like, yeah, it shouldn't be fun. You, you know what I'm saying? Smack, nigga. So, so, so my question for you guys, let's get, let's get deep into it. Let's talk about it. Um, Is what Will, is, is what Will did, is what, oh is God! What will no, you not drink it? I started. I started. I started to ask the question. I'm like, that's not right. And I kept asking, "Is what Will Smith? <laughs> What's wrong with you? And he's sober, bro. What I don't will, know what, will Smith? What Will okay. Smith? His reaction did. to the joke that was said on stage. Yes. Was that warranted to you guys? You Hell think, no. Cool. You think it's an overreaction? A, a, a thousand percent. Explain why. Reasons yeah. why. Yeah. Why, why do you think? Uh, number one. What what I have found out, I didn't know this, but I just thought this. They had been joking about Will and Jada all like the whole night. Like it's, mm-hmm. I guess Will got tired of the shit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But what um, do you mean, other, other people? No, um, fucking Regina made an entanglement joke in the in the beginning of the show. Like, well, I heard y'all had an open relationship. You know what I'm saying? Let me, you know, what mm-hmm. just whatever. Like it, niggas joke. Oh, when, on, when when she was inviting people up on stage, yeah, and she was like, "Oh, Will, you're married." Right, but I heard. Oh, yeah, yeah, she was inviting single guys. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, yeah, but you know what I'm saying? Like, Jay didn't go up and smack her. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, ah. So all I'm saying is, we always make fun of them. You're you're sitting front row at, at a place where a comedian comes out. That's literally comedy 101. We have friends that are comedians. If you in the front row, it's like, boop, I'm gonna get you. That's it. He had just made fun of some white folks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like he was just gonna keep making jokes. Like that's what comedians do. Mm-hmm. So it's an overreaction. Um, it is you with the with the Superman shit, like you said, bro. Because I don't like that you got it. Man, I hate that. I really do hate that. Um, and I'm gonna let y'all speak because I I have a different you know in the end. But I don't like it. It's too much. And yeah, you did it. It's cool. You don't look tough to me though. And I, I, I see, yeah, he does. You know that. what I'm saying? Like you don't. That didn't make me feel like. Yeah, Will, you showed him. I, I don't feel like that, bro. I feel like, yeah, not the right thing, bro. So, my, my, I, I don't think that How was... How you a, feel about it, sir? Yeah. 
Number one, I don't think it was the right thing uh, due to the fact that he's been on that stage a thousand times. It's not mm-hmm. the first time Will's been joked at on a big stage or joked at at the Oscars. Facts. Um, and, the you know, that's not the first time. I'm going to kill that motherfucker. Whoa, uh, w- relax, Will Smith. <laughs> God, <laughs> get that. I'm here just, <laughs> just keep my, <laughs> keep my <laughs> wife. <laughs> About your so the mosquito. That's not the, that's not the first time that he was on that stage, and um, there's a lot of different pro- perspectives. But one that I know for a fact, somebody posted a meme of The Rock saying the joke, right? And they posted the meme of Will just laughing, right? And he didn't get up. If The Rock was on there, which is possible, he'll be yeah. at the Oscars. He's a somebody actor, was saying Jason Momoa. And he's always, uh, Jason Samoa, yeah, J- J- yeah. Big, big, the big ass dude. If The Rock was up there, Will S- I don't believe that Will Smith would have got up and smacked the shit out of Rock if The Rock made that joke, right? That's one thing. And here's what I do think: I think that I mean, you do got to know who to smack. I mean, you know if you gonna smack, smack. <laughs> if you gonna smack, no, but that's, but that's but that's, but, that's, but that's not being consistent yeah. with what you're doing. On, on I think show. that if you're trying to, um. Protect your woman mm-hmm. in, in in that moment. He said something that was made you uncomfortable. I think that Will could have addressed it verbally. He could have said maybe not in the same ferocity of keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth, but he could have been like, "That's hey, whoa, it's not yeah. funny. Don't talk about her again. Low keep key. our name out your mouth. Continue, but don't talk about her again." That would have been addressed enough. He addressed it. He addressed it. He let everyone know that it's not it's not cool. Right. Setting a setting some level of precedence going forward, and he didn't have to be physical, and he still disturbed the elegance of the Oscars by being you know showing that he's firm on his stance. So I don't think that the violence was necessary, in my personal opinion, um, because that that was someone else. He wouldn't have done that. You feel me? In, 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 what do you think? At all. I agree. Cool. Um. I just want to pick apart a lot of things that's been said because I feel differently. Mm-hmm. Um, not about everything, but about a lot of things. Um, Give me a point first and then pick us apart. Well, no, it don't work, don't work that way. I got in, in my brain, it don't work that way. Like, <laughs> <laughs> dictate how I'm going to go. Like, no. I'm, I'm gonna let you we need a full outline. Exactly. I'll go first so I can pick y'all shit apart and then I'll give No, I was going to let y'all go first anyway, nigga. Shit. But, um... <laughs> That narrative of, oh, if it was The Rock or if it was Mike Tyson or if it was a tiger or if it was that, he wouldn't have did that. I don't agree with that. Um, I don't wholeheartedly. Um, I, I, I'm a firm believer of if someone feels disrespected and they want to pop, they're going to pop. And mm. that's, that's just how I've grown up. That's where I'm coming from. I can see that. I'm, I've been the short guy amongst all my friends. Let, let, let me go. I'll let you go. Right? I've been the short guy amongst all my friends um, my whole life. Mm-hmm. If I wanted to get into something, I was going to do that. I don't give a fuck who said what, when they said it, I don't care. Mm. That's that's just how I am. I don't give a fuck who said what. If he felt disrespected and he wanted to do whatever he was going to do, it could have been Jesus on that stage. If he felt disrespected, he was going to do what he wanted to do. That's how I feel. That's one. Um, mm. but, yeah. Just being Go consistent ahead. throughout your career, though. And, and another thing, speaking to the consistency, and I'm and glad, you brought, consistent I, as a friend I'm glad you brought that back up. That Based on the consistency, he's not consistently slapping people. So there is no track record of he's done it to one, but hasn't done it to the next. Yeah, they correct? only referenced the one with the dude was trying to kiss him. Yes, and he which tapped, is which disrespect. I went on, I'm that, on. That just means that he's let so much go. So, so let me continue now. Mm-hmm. Um, so that, that, that comment of it's not consistent is kind of BS to me because he's not consistently known as the guy who's slapping people, but I won't slap you. I'll slap you, 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 not you, but you. Then I'll be on your side. Well, oh, come on now. Now you're doing some punk shit. Like, right. So that's... That's I can't bring consistency consistency in with that. You saying Will um, Smith should have slapped more people so we can judge? If he's gonna bring that point up, if if your point is consistency, that means I would need to see a track record a track record of Will Smith consistently slapping people, but choosing not to slap a couple people and then going back to slapping others. <laughs> then I'll be on your side, like yeah, you're right. He picking and choosing who you want to slap. Up. Hide your kids, hide your like, wife. Will Smith slapping, slapping everybody, everybody right? nigga. So, <laughs> that's that. But uh, to, to 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 go deeper into my point. Um, I don't think, I don't think this had anything to do with what was said on Sunday night. No. Um, no. I think this has to do with, th- this is more of just like a straw that broke the camel's back kind of thing in my eyes, right? Um, he's, 
for whatever reason, this family has been the butt of a lot of jokes for a long time. Look at at first, they were, the, but the, they they were the darlings in mm-hmm. the black community. They was goals. They were they were goals. Remember that we, they were everything, <laughs> right? Like Will then and Jada. They um um. I want that Jada and that Will love. Like right. they they rap songs. Like right. they they're, they're the pedestal of black love, quote unquote, for a long time, right? Mm-hmm. Um, they started doing that red table talk show. And the books came out. Social and then media. More social media shit oh. happened. And we started looking at them a little shaky under the light. And that's when the jokes come. Did y'all by chance read the Will Smith book? Anybody? Even on audio? I did not read the nah, book. Not yet. But, but, in, but do say your stance, though. Like, do you think that I'm, was I'm a try, good I'm trying, trying to get that. I'm trying I to get I cut them off by asking, like did you read the book? Bro, let me go, bro. I've, I'm, I'm masterful with this. Let me go. Security over here. Relax. Facts. Like, <laughs> and you interrupted him six times. That's what I cool. do, baby. So, <laughs> they go from being the darling, the black goals, black relationship goals, Mm -hmm. to then being the butt of everyone's joke, right? And it only takes but so many jokes until someone finally loses it, right? Now, referring to the book, I heard that he he was talking about the fact that his mom got uh, 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 abused his whole life and he watched his pops beating on his mom. The first line in the book is... um and and you can keep your point. Mm-hmm. The first line in the book is, "I've always thought of myself as a coward," and cool. his whole life he's been fighting, and that's why he, in his life, he had to build such a persona yeah. to overcompensate for the fact that he thought he was a coward. So then you fast forward. Now mm-hmm. he's a kid from West Philadelphia, which is not the nicest of neighborhoods right. to be from. So right. I think that he has some of that in him. But now we're talking about public ridicule for and and and. Exorbitant amount of time. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. definitely. And now we're on. A, it's 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 okay when you shoot at me, right? I'm supposed to be the one who takes it. Mm-hmm. Jade is not a comedian. Will Smith is a comedian. Mm-hmm. The joke was not about Will Smith. If the joke was a Will Smith stab, I'm pretty sure the night doesn't go that way. What happens is. He's now sitting next to someone who you opened your statement with saying the alopecia thing, right? Mm-hmm. Now, cool, alopecia is not breast cancer. It's not lupus. No, it's it's can... not like some terminal. Fact. But it is something that a black woman who, black women are already crucified for hair, right? 100%. So this black woman now has something that affects her hair growth. And, and beauty. She's, yeah, and she's, and she's publicly, an actress. She's publicly came out and said a lot of things about it. She, she doesn't feel like herself. She doesn't feel as beautiful and all this and all that. And now we don't know the battles and the struggles that they have behind closed doors about mm-hmm. this, right? So now he has to sit there and watch his wife get shot at by a comedian. So I can understand why he would say, yo, keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I get that. Um, I, I'm not excusing the getting up and slapping dude. On, on camera like that. Because at the same time, I work retail, right? I always say customers would try you because they feel like you're at work and you can't do shit. Oh, yeah. Like, bro, I will fuck you up no matter where we at, Period. Bro. And I could punch the fuck out. I'd like, <laughs> fact, you, you, we, could, we could easily talk about what we're talking about. Chris Rock showed a lot of, a lot of professionalism. He showed a lot of restraint because a nigga like me, we would have been scrapping on national television. Fact. Swear to God. It would have got cut the commercial break yeah. real quick. We would have we got it on real quick. I don't even care if I lost. I'm going for it. You, I, you, you're you not going to just violate me like yeah, that, right? Yeah. So, yeah. like I said, I, I I don't condone. I'm not condemning. Yeah. I just, I can understand is all I can say. Because, and this is what I was saying the other week about the the, the joke with the, the, the Pete Davidson and the I'm in bed with your wife. Certain things are just not funny. And yes, if you're cracking jokes, you're cracking jokes. There are some things that are just not funny. And it, I hear what y'all were saying the other, the, other, the other conversation. Right. But this brought me back to that. Some things are just not fucking funny. And you deserve to get punched in your fucking face for that. And I said that then and I'm saying it again. Some things are just not funny. But so I, do I condone it? No. But do I understand? Hell yeah, I understand. All right. And that's my take. I got you. Um, oh, oh, go ahead, bro. I just, uh, um, just, you know, in response or whatever, mm-hmm. I... I never condone hitting a person with something that's verbally said. It's it's two different mediums. And we're smart people, we're good people. We we understand that you can verbally get me back or verb you but know you what I'm saying? You can't tell when somebody disrespected, bro. You can't tell someone how to react while being disrespected. I get that, but you can also tell an overreaction. And I and I and I, I do understand a reaction. But there's an overreaction. No, I, I, like if you burn down the Grammys, it's like, well, that was his reaction. It's I'm, like, I'm, what? No, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on your side with the. Fuck o- is you burning I'm on, the shit down? Once again, I'm on your side like, with the, the overreaction. <laughs> I'm, I'm on your side with the overreaction. I do feel like it was an overreaction, but at the same time, I feel like it was 
the straw that broke the camel's back. I get yeah. that. And that's why the overreaction happened because now he's dealing with this for a while. Yeah, no, no, yeah, when, but you whenever could. Whenever someone does an overreaction, you can, you see it and you recognize it as projection. You know that, that whatever, how that person just responded to you, it doesn't warrant what you did to them. Um, and then once you do that, you're like, okay, boom. You're projecting from a place of hurt from other situations. Right. That slap was for social media. Right. That slap was for all the fucking jokes. That slap was for the August Alcina jokes. That slap was for all oh, your kids are mm-hmm. gender fluid jokes. You saw that video like, of like, the fucking. That's, yeah. That slap was for all of that pent up shit. Yeah. And now it's like, bro, you're not gonna violate me on the night when I know. Because honestly, I, I do know that I do believe that they know who won these awards. That's why they get them there yeah. in the front row. Yeah, no, no. And, so you know. he's he's like you're not on my night. You know you're not, you're not gonna do this on my. I, night. I will knew he was. But also that too, one. also too, man, and it's something that they um it was addressed in the book and it, it just came out later. But Will's a drinker, bro. Um, y'all know I'm a drinker, right? That's Wait, just let me out, let me just let me just let me just I drop a cab. What happens is I could see the animosity, um, anxiousness, uh, was anxiety, anxiety of winning an award. You win a best actor. That's the highest award of the night. You know what I'm saying? You're doing something big. There's this other emotional shit going on with your family. You drunk as hell. That's why drunk ass Denzel hopped up. Was like, oh shit, get my nigga. <laughs> like I, I, I saw it. I'm a drinker, bro. Like I, I'm one of those. Like oh, Jay Wallen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I saw, I, I saw some other shit. I but what I, I want, but what I want to say, other than, I highly than, disagree as well. Yeah, me, that's it's okay. That's fine, fine, fine whatever. But the point I want to say is, I heard some shit from Roland Martin today, and he was like, he was like, imagine same scenario, makes the same joke. Will laughs at first. Jada looks uncomfortable. He walks up. And remember, Chris Rock wasn't expected to be hit. He was expected for Will to just say something. That's why he's like, oh, he was about to say, here come King Richard. You heard it. He's like, oh, kids. If he'd have just grabbed the mic and said, all right, yo, on the real, we're not finna do jokes about my wife. Alopecia is a real thing. Protect black women. Blah, blah. I'm going to go sit down. Chris, let's continue the show. Done. You did absolutely the same thing. Once you per- again, hold. You let me finish. Let, just let me just let me, just let me finish. But let me let me no no. But that's what I'm saying. Let me finish this. I'm sorry. You protected your woman. Yes. You fought for your cause. Yes. You did everything without violence. In the perfect world. No, but he'd have been a motherfucking hero. Not in a perfect hold on. World. Let me let me finish. Wanna, it's Will Smith, say, my nigga. I don't want to say in a perfect world. Could we? If, if what I, no. What I'm trying to say is, and then you go off to win. Imagine that headline. Will Smith checks Chris Rock sorry, about can't. being. Just let me just, just hear what. Yes, but you know what I'm saying? Yes, and then you go off and because now, once again, you not only ruined every fucking thing. But uh, did he? I don't yeah, think so. Bro. I don't think so. We just talked ten minutes and, about all the shit that don't nobody honestly, know. But to be honest with you, I hate that point that black people have been bringing up for the last day and a half. Oh, we we showing our ass in front of these white folks. I don't give a fuck about them. Well, no, not that. I don't, I don't give a fuck about. I don't care about the white folks. No, 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 no. So, so you, you guys are talking about two different things. You're talking about showing it for the white folks. He's just talking yeah. about overshadowing. He other, said the night was ruined. I'm saying by who? He's talking about what he means is overshadowing other great. My nigga, if you was there to get your fucking award, and your speech was fucked up because now you like uh, okay, well, I get that. I get that. we'll just. Uh, he's just talking uh, about. I want to shout out to Barry. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Shit. You, about <laughs> you know what I mean? Motherfuckers work hard to get a fucking Oscar, bro. We I work for, for a whole so, year. Like, are you serious? One thing that people do say so is that his, people do say people, people do say, yo, you can't tell someone how to react to something. Like, I hear Sean may say that all the time. You can't. But you can though. In my you opinion, can, a little. In, in my opinion, the reason why the reason why I say you can because that's where correction, that's where mentorship, that's where people start saying, hey, this is how you handle that better. This is how you do this better. The same way that we're saying that he's saying that Will could have handled that better by doing this, if Chris Rock would have done what 90% of the people saying that they would have done, you know what I'm saying? Facts. Then we would have been saying, Chris, God damn. I know that this was a stressful situation. But you could have handled that better. Right. You are at work. You're in the position. He is going through what he's going through. And yes, he projected that hurt on you. And you should be able to recognize that. That's what that and story. No, but the, been, real quick, I just want to. In the, in the end. And that's a good point. Because what if Chris that, Rock that whooped is, his ass? That is so, the perfect world. What if Chris Rock said, yo, fuck so that. So hindsight, hindsight is 2020, the, right? He's, he responded in the perfect world that you're speaking of. Wow. Right? How mm-hmm. Chris Rock responded is how. With that same mannerism is the perfect world that we wished um, Will, Will Smith would have responded. Yeah, wow! Mm-hmm. So one person point. actually did that; the yes. other person didn't because cool. of whatever. What and once again, hindsight is twenty twenty, right? Chris Rock would have took the mic and 
knock that nigga out. Now Hindsight, we like, oh, Hindsight Chris Rock knocks out Will. So it's very easy for you to sit there and say he needs mentorship, he needs this, he needs that, blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah. Will Smith, until Sunday, that we know of at least, mm-hmm. has never been put in a situation where someone cracked jokes on his wife's hair in front of him and she felt away, and then he's in that point. We don't know, right? And you're just yawning like a motherfucker. Like, he doesn't even hide the shit. <laughs> uh, my apologies, guys. Jesus I've, Christ. I just told you, you I, just started, here. I just told you I started seven new businesses God. last week. But, okay, so <laughs> this man. You basically so, said your point is boring. To the best nah. of our knowledge, this man has <laughs> never been put in this situation before, right? Yeah. So we don't know what we'll do until we're in said situation. So hindsight is twenty twenty. We can always say what should have been done, what we would have done, what we could have done, what could have done better if that situation were to happen to us because we saw a reaction that we also we obviously don't agree with, right? Right. So it's easy to just point a finger and say, well, that's wrong. I would have done it this way. Cool. What I'm saying is for an individual who's, to the best of our knowledge, has never been in that situation, right? And for them to be feeling however they've been feeling for umpteen years, however long it's been, and we don't know if they've had a conversation in private, and and Chris Rock has a track record for coming for Jada, because I saw multiple videos of that, literally standing on stage at different award shows just cracking jokes yeah. at Jada. No, specifically at Jada. Yeah. I remember. Cool. So what I'm saying is yeah. you don't know if they've had conversations in the past. You don't know anything. What if you would have said, yo, be easy on Shorty, bro. Like, come on. I, I get it. It's a joke, but be easy. And then he comes up on the stage and does it again. No. If you're disrespectful, you get disrespected. And that's what I'm saying. We don't know the full story. It's a lie. I mean, that... that, that, that. You got talking to the microphone. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I, so one good point. Shout out to uh, Barry. Everybody, yo, uh, bro. <laughs> everybody. So everyone gave their two cents, and the one thing that didn't really make sense was why, why did he laugh and then it happened, right? I wish the camera would have stayed on him so we could see that thought process that he went through. Right. Where everyone, you know, everyone's like, well, with a man, you know, um, when 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 you when you see when someone makes a joke, you defend your woman if you know that's a disrespectful joke, and then you have the aspect of someone says something and. You know, it's funny to you. You know it's messed up. You're probably not going to just immediately jump off. But if you see your wife's uncomfortable, how do you handle that? Do you jump off? Or do you calm your wife down? What mm-hmm. do you do? And it didn't really make sense to me that he laughed. She showed discomfort. He laughed. Then five seconds later, he's smacking him. And then until I heard this. Apparently, number one, uh, Chris Rock didn't write the joke. Right? There's writers. So that's not Chris Rock's joke per se. He's a- just delivering the joke. Um, and maybe they also know the tension, so they specifically made him deliver it. Um, but I number one, I, said it was I, heard, teleprompters. I heard that Chris Rock and told Will about the joke beforehand. Wow. And Will said... I'm not arguing. Yeah, I, I, that's just conspiracy. Where'd man. you hear that? I don't know, bro. So, I mean, nah, because come on now. Uh, you want me to cite my source? I, I mean, was it uh, Instagram? Give me, give me, Give me 30 minutes and I'll cite my source. 30 minutes? 30 minutes? We're going to be on the next show. Give me 15 minutes. <laughs> I got it. Y'all want me to Google stuff? Well, I didn't. No, I, 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 you don't so have long, to. Long story yeah. short, long story short, because that is something that happens. People say, hey, look, this is what I'm going to talk about on this. It's whatever, a scripted whatever. show. I just told you, Will Packer produced it. So that means that some writers wrote that joke. I understand, but I'm saying. I don't think the people in the crowd know the joke. That's not, like, I, no, not the crowd. I, I, I so, so wait, wait, wait. Not the crowd, so, but what I'm saying is somebody Are you telling me wrote, that the people who are going up to say what they say, that's the first time they're reading it when they're going up? No, it's a practice. They okay, always so have a practice. So that means they know about the joke beforehand. So That's the person reading it, but not the people in the crowd. But what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is from what I've heard, mm-hmm. Chris told Will about the joke beforehand. Okay. And Will told him not to make the joke, and he still made the joke. So then, uh, so now, if, cool. so uh, let's, now, let's, now that's now, what I'm saying. So let's now, run, but that changes. So let's run with this alternate universe parallel kind of thing. Where, if that is the case, and this is now on your lap, yeah, that's how where, do you feel about it? Now that's where it every, that's where everything changes. Where you say, hey, well, we had a conversation, and I asked you not whatever the conversation specifics were. You still went ahead. Yes. And then that's 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 where the laugh makes sense. It's like you make the joke. I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck think I'm playing? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga think it's a game. <laughs> like that's I told funny. you not to do it. <laughs> this nigga think it's a game. That's uh, funny. Let me get up on here. That's uh, funny. That is funny. <laughs> And we'll go back to my Because seat. you know what's funny? That's I, the only thing that makes sense of I'm, why I'm, he laughed. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. He's stupid. I'm not. <laughs> um, that's funny. No, that's a funny that's ass funny. scenario. That's <laughs> really funny. This nigga takes this motherfucker. He was like, 
Oh, this nigga think it's funny. <laughs> oh, this thing got me fucked up. <laughs> no, but how many how many times have you seen somebody laugh when they know they're about to do something crazy? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Nah, no, that's yes, women. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. oh, what? All the time? <laughs> women. Oh, women. Women will laugh dead in your face and then burn your. I'm car. about to right. kill him. Like, yeah, like, come on, son. That's honestly, I'm not Yo, gonna lie, Lamar. That's probably the best take I've heard of that. My, give you that, that that's that. the only. I thing give you that props on that. That I, I got, I gotta get a man. Now presence. I don't. I that's don't one know of the how, best scenarios. Because everybody is like, but why did he laugh? Why did he laugh? Because when, 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 when you, when you, if I'm with my girl, but I, 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 I can also speak to that though. Why? Somebody, but you know what else though? I, I can speak to that. Why somebody would laugh? Though. Real, real quick though, just on that point, Jada, if that's true. Jada rolling her eyes makes sense. It's like, oh, we told this It's like this we nigga told this to. motherfucker not to make the joke. Oh, no, we're will. about to go off. <laughs> yeah. We're about to go and off. And then we'll, and we'll, okay. Let, let, let me, let me, let me just ahead. speak to the reason why I think a laugh would come and then a realization that would happen. Uh, that, that's um, the most sensible shit I've heard about it. Once again, <laughs> we're, we're, there's a time and a place for things and everyone knows the time and the place for certain things. If you're at a golfing event and some shit happens, everybody knows to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not like do the fucking wave. Woo. We're not doing that, right? So we 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 everyone knows they're conditioned. My nigga got a hole in one. Like, we're not doing that because we're conditioned, right? Right. Mm-hmm. These these people, these professionals, right? The, mm. the actors guilds awards. These you're they, supposed to laugh. They they know that when they get, they're supposed to give a chuckle. Ha ha ha! Whoa, wait a minute. So it could easily that he knows a joke is coming, punchline comes, and they're just conditioned. To, <laughs> which oh, is true. Which is true. Wait a minute. Which is true. And that's why I can see a laugh coming out and then the realization happening. Because they, they get pictures of celebrities that don't laugh. Yes. Like, that's yeah, a thing. That's a meme. You know, yeah, they're yeah. They're meme. Like, like they get Tom Hanks, like, you know what I'm saying? And he's and, supposed to be laughing. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So I get that. I get the I professional. See the- that's the smart, even though I, that's hypothetical, but I think, or not, nah, but you know what I'm saying, I just don't have a source on that. But that's honestly, that's like the that's a pretty good I, explanation. I, that's the I, <laughs> I want to see. That really makes more there, sense. There are multiple cameras in multiple places, and they just cut from camera. God to camera. damn! I'm sorry. Yeah, that's like a dragon. <laughs> it scared me. <laughs> that one scared me. This nigga jumped from the Nigga, it, it, it came. <laughs> you want know to know what's crazy? We watched it. Yeah, climb I, saw, I saw you look at it, we but I didn't know what the fuck you was looking at. We watched it climb your back and then jump you over serious? you. Yeah, Yo, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but we got a fucking mosquito in here that's the size of a pit bull. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's motherfucker. Yo, and it keeps scaring the shit this out of me. This is not playing games tonight. It's right. so much space in this building. <laughs> Listen, this motherfucker, he, like, what's up? Like, oh, we, on, we on TV? Oh. <laughs> he, said, he said, where camera at? Yeah. Where camera at? <laughs> yeah. But, um, so I want to see, there's so many cameras. Like, this camera on you, 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 and they're just cutting. Right. Yeah. Right? That means a camera was still on Will Smith's seat when they cut from him. Right. I want to see never showed us that, that full clip. You don't see it. I want to see. Well, I, I want him to find it. I want to know what does he do. Yeah. Does he go from, <laughs> you fucked up. Then it goes to him walking. Yeah. And, it just, and, it just and, goes to him already five steps in. And that's another reason why people so thought it was staged. Stage. Because it's two camera angles of him coming in, walking up. And even one of my boys was like, I do camera work. He was like, he had to walk in the frame. Like, there's another guy cut to camera two. Listen, man. It was so all weird, all, bro. When I saw the video, because I, I obviously didn't watch it live. So when I saw the video. Nah, I didn't no, you know what? You, we couldn't watch it live. Okay. So for the people that don't know, or if y'all know, that wasn't aired on the American version. What happened was, there's a, you know, there's always a delay with TV. Yes. Just yes. in case somebody fall over, die or something, they got to cut it mm-hmm. out. So we didn't see... America only saw him cursing, but they bleeped it because they had only found that, you know, only had enough time. I think yeah. the delay is only so like two, seconds. Yeah, th- th- like a minute or so. So they cut the smack out. So all we saw was like cut the commercial. You know what I'm saying? No, when he cut the commercial, it was um, it was Chris Rock doing that. And then all you see is Will like. And everyone's like, that's awkward. So then, in all, uh, I don't know if it was Australia, China, but another country. Japan. 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 Yeah. They aired the whole shit the way it was. So somebody, the Japan people's like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> like, <laughs> Will, Will Smith smack Will Smith. Smack. Oh, but you can hear them. They're like, you know, and they, 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 they. Oh, yeah. Just, they're like. <laughs> the translators is going crazy. Yeah. They're like, what the fuck is good? Did he just smack this nigga? Like, <laughs> they, they said, <laughs> they said, <laughs> they said. Do, they said, do I say this? Do I not say Yo, this? they was going crazy. And, and that's what was being shared. So through social media, and, and mind you, we wasn't even watching the Oscars. Mm-hmm. So the social media clip came out before we was even paying the fucking attention. I, I, like I said, I, the other countries was like, 
on the walk up, on the walk up, the only thing that replayed in my head was that bus driver was like, "You going to jail now?" <laughs> like, that's the only thing that replayed in my yo, head. I like the only how two buddy, smacks is that one and the eight ball jacket, dude. Oh, yo, that yo, eight ball jacket. I, I, I like, slap is I like how buddy. Uh, he Hall he kind of kinda like fixed his he fixed his jacket when he's when Will kind of like. Fixed his jacket when he was walking away. Yeah, yeah. I was like, "Oh snap!" He just I, so, like I said, I, 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 I can I can understand, but I don't fully agree because you know this man is at work. Just right. just to round it off for me, and then we can yeah. move on from it. Yeah. But this man is at work, and you know for a fact he's not going to defend himself or <laughs> do whatever the case may be. <laughs> so I feel like that is that's the part that I don't really like. I kind of wish it was on equal terms because if Chris Rock would have defended himself. Then it's like, all right, we have another conversation. Yeah. So I, I don't like the fact of attacking somebody at work, but at the same time, watch your fucking mouth, bro. And nah. and and it's funny because comedians always run behind the fact of, oh, it's a joke. It's not always a joke. You feel I, me? And 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 my mom always told me, like I said, I was a short dude in, with with the group of the big niggas, right? Because I, I played sports my whole life, so I I had to be faster than everybody else, and I had to be wittier and funnier than everybody else because I couldn't beat nobody, not them big ass niggas. Right? I hear what you're saying. So with that. My mom always told me, if you're going to cut ass, be prepared to defend yourself with right. what comes with cutting ass. Right. Yeah. Because somebody might not be as mentally tough as you to play the dozens with you. Mm-hmm. Right. If you get the best of somebody verbally, it's going to turn physical. Yeah. So, as a comedian, if you're going to talk that shit, be prepared to fight. Yeah. yeah. That's, uh, that's that. I, I, I agree. I, agree I mean, that. I, I, that's what I see. I do get it. I just, in real life... I I would like to take that stance, but it's one of those really crazy things that we saw. So because we saw it, we all feel the same way. It's it's weird. Well, not not the same way, but we feel like this wasn't like justice served. You got it. Boom. That awkward feeling. This awkward for a reason because something wasn't right. You know what I'm saying? Like that, and that's what it. That just wasn't a a, a nigga disrespect your girl. You smack her to defend your girl. That's not what it was, bro. Yeah, I I, I agree. And the reason why do you I understand agree? what I'm saying? Like the world don't feel like hell. Yeah, it will. And if he say something again, yeah, smack him again. Yeah, yeah. We don't feel like that. That's because we Chris feel because Chris Rock shouldn't have been the victim, right? Chris Rock should not be the victim. Here. So stay right there. So stay right there. The, when you say victim, that already speaks to deeper issues. That speak to what's what you what's going on, Will. But that's what I'm trying. You understand, like, and, and that's what we were able to see. So cool. So let's and stay. So, so yeah. let's stay here. Right? Let's, let, 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 let's stay here. We shouldn't have done that in that moment, though. In my opinion, I, I get but, that. But 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 let's just stay with the. Let's let's stay here, right? So victimization, right? Chris Rock was just the straw that broke the camel's back. Which yeah, right? We spoke that. Got that already, right? Yeah. Like, we need to talk about what the fuck we really need to talk about then, as a people, right? Because what what, what we're talking about. To be honest with you, and. I know he's about to change the topic, but fuck it, let's go. My here, bad. Right? I told no, you. I have, more, I have more questions on the same topic. Okay, but cool. that's what I said. This I speaks you to. About so, to change it. I went to. Uh, nigga, cool. so, so, it so, speaks to a whole. So, so let's talk about it, right? What I want to actually talk about is the fact that people think that polygamy is the fucking answer. And, oh, my and, God. Oh, and look, went, look, oh look, wow. Look, 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 yeah. <laughs> I didn't see it coming. I didn't see it coming. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me, right? You just you just me. Will Smith hit me, nigga. Look, cool. <laughs> so, wow. Hear how my brain works, right? <laughs> the reason why the reason why I feel like most of the reason why we're no longer putting them on the pedestal as black love is because this whole entanglement thing came out. Um the jokes then came out with August Alcina. And now they're behind the door in the closet kind of things became frontline mainstream media. Right. right. We now know the inner makings of their relationship. We now know that who could step out on who. We now know the rules that they got going on. We're not supposed to fucking know. Right. Because Will was violating her too. Cool. But we're not supposed to know. Yeah. Right. But what happens is Will may have violated. You ever heard he of did. anything about it? I read it all in the book, bro. I'm, Understood, yeah. but before the book, you heard anything I mean, about did it? Did you hear specifics? Or what, he just what, was it mainstream media? He didn't put out no specifics. He just no, said, no, it was never. He basically specific. said, so follow hey, me. I did wrong too." So cool. Follow me. Follow me. Different period. Cool. What that I'm was saying, the '90s. Understood. Follow me, because I'm, I'm going somewhere. Anything that Will did was that public? Was that public news? It wasn't public. Was it on front rate? Did mm. they have TV shows and talk shows about it? No. Nothing, right? No. So now they're behind the door. Shit is now front stream media type, type issue. And everybody who, who's not supposed to have an opinion on their shit now has an opinion on their shit, right? And Jada's leading the charge on that. Exactly. So now he has to sit there and take that. Now there's a crying meme of Will Smith's face. Yeah. Now it's 
he's the butt of everyone's jokes. And this is the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Right. This is the coolest nigga on earth you at one point. Think that's yeah. because of polygamy? Yes, because they have an open. Well, maybe I said it wrong, but open relationships. At one point, what, what, well, what saying, what, we whatever, get it. They fuck other cool. people, and they now we know people, about it. Right? So, <laughs> so yeah. If you're gonna do that, one, you have to have the mental fortitude for it. Yeah. But more than that, you have to have the mental fortitude to speak to the masses if you are a public figure and it does go left. Because what we're seeing now is it going left and it affecting this man. Right. Oh, it's affecting this. It's nigga. affecting the a fuck out of him, bro. And now because it affected him. Now somebody got smacked on national television. Right. And that's uh, why it's affecting him. And like, that's what I really wanted to talk to. It's like I have a choice right now. Do we stick on this? Do we? All right. So, boom. Here's why I, I disagree with your point, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. I don't think that it has anything to do with the fact of them having an open relationship or not. I think that it's basically how it was all depicted. Jada didn't do a great job of speaking on the issue by still keeping the masculinity, still keeping the respect of will as she spoke on the august alcina issue and then further issues later on um it's i don't i don't i have many relationships marriages or whatever people don't really always break up because of the infidelity people really break up because of the feeling behind it that the, the the disrespect that comes with it the everyone knows that you cheated on me there are many people who have their 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 disagreements with their other person, but it's in house. I am the only one who knows about this, or you came and told me, and right. we handled it together, and now I'm still with you. But then when it's a big thing, when people start to lose respect for me, when I start to lose respect for myself, because I'm second guessing me, I'm thinking about what they're thinking, I'm thinking about what you're thinking now because of what they're thinking. That's where it starts to um, deteriorate. Right. I don't think that it's because of the open relationship per se, but because it's, it's, it's if, we run, if we run if we run, with stats, bro, we run with stats, or uh, we run with whatever, number one, um, the monogamy situation is not 100% uh, consistent in reaching the goal of happiness and love, and other polygamous or open relationship or it's those type of situations have a higher success rate. That's number one. Number two, it is, it, it is specifically because... She, He's moving very fast. I'm, I'm, like, she, I'm trying to catch it. She this is did ridiculous. not, and she still hasn't. And, and I literally said that, yo, she has no room for error. Anything that she says from now on has to be super duper detailed, well thought out. She needs a PR team and three people to check those messages before she says anything because she has no room for error. I'm speaking about Jada. She has to make sure that she speaks <laughs> of her man in a masculine, strong way to keep the respect that we've always had for him at a utmost high. All right, because but that's it's also, how she spoke on him. But that's also did. like the problem. How she spoke on him. Well, yes. But I'm saying it's also the problem that Oh man, yo, y'all really gotta read this man book. Like it's so like it's like it's for the, everybody mind you, we have the number one best selling book. So yeah. so so everyone watching this scenario it's also the people that's just Fresh Prince fans. Mm-hmm. But it's also the motherfuckers that, re- that I did the audio, you know me, the audio book is incredible because it's him doing the voices, doing his mm-hmm. fucking will. He's rapping and shit. Like, it's fucking good. It's smart. Keep yeah, money. it's, bro, it's amazing. Keep and it's just a really, it's a really good book. But being that the book just came out, it just dropped a few months ago. The book only four months old, dog. It's a brand new book. And he really is detailing all of this shit, talking about his insecurities and his anxieties and, and how... How much he had to be, like you say, Jada need to say something to him. Or, I'm sorry, when she speaks to him, she has to speak to him of a certain way. He, trying to, okay, we talk about characters all the time. Mm-hmm. Will Smith, the man, is not Will Smith, the Fresh Prince. Absolutely, yeah. right. But he had built this persona of Will Smith, the Fresh Prince, the nice guy. I don't fight. I'm cool. I'm chill. I laugh. I don't curse in my raps. Mm-hmm. I, I get all the ladies. Everyone wants me. I don't ever do nothing to get them. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just things that was built. I got Jada. She's bad. I, this is what it is. But when you read the book, it's just mad. It's pretty much this nigga need a podcast. <laughs> mm-hmm. it, the the whole book is just him getting out all the shit that he feels like. I, it's not true. It's not true. It's not true. It's not true. It's wrong. It's a persona. It's a persona. You know. And so to watch you get, man, just all of this shit on the night where you about to win best actor, nigga. I could just see a person like. Ah, you know what I'm saying? If you notice, he went on to that night to cry and do that, which went, we didn't care no more because you just smacked Chris Rock. But then later, this nigga in the club, rapping, drunk, 
You know what I'm saying? Did y'all see the clips of him partying and doing? Yeah. Yeah, I, he basically just turned the fuck up and was like, fuck it. Yeah, what else you do? But like, uh, to how, be honest, how, to, how does to that, win some ass how does and win that, an award, that's a great night. How do you, in, how do you entangle that with how um, Jada should be speaking of him and about What him? I'm saying is, that's <laughs> a Entangle loop. it. You stupid. <laughs> he tried. And that's the reason why Chris Rock got slapped. <laughs> Go ahead. He didn't even make that joke, which is crazy. We all made that joke. How do you how do you tie it back together with how Jada should be speaking on him? What I'm saying is, I can understand, but but we also got to deal with the mental health aspect of that. We also got to deal with the triggers and the things that that make us fight. That's that's what I was speaking to. Yeah, that's what I was speaking to. I'm, we we all kind of saying the same shit, different different points. Nah. Okay, but the point I'm trying to make <laughs> is all of that encompassing on the. You know, I, I was just telling him in the car, like I get anxiety when like big changes happen. I didn't even realize that, but it, it just reading his book made me realize that. Like, I, I haven't slept over the past three days because I'm about to move to another place. It's not like, hey, I'm good. I'm like, uh, I, want to this I, I get anxiety. You see me get anxiety when the mics don't work right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, what the fuck? Exactly. <laughs> You've told me, yo, Dan, you just get flustered. What yeah. the fuck? Like, this nigga is the worst. <laughs> I get this flustered, bro. Putting on these productions? <laughs> nigga. Okay. So. I could just see something like that, and it's your wife, and it's your family, and it's alopecia, and it's po- I'm supposed to be Big Willie. I, it's just it's a lot, my nigga. And then a person make a joke. I, that's why I say straw camel back got you. Yeah. Long def- story short, I'm definitely see, see that. It's, it's but Jada's also uh, that, that that's 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 fault. what I'm trying to say. You're not touching it's it. Jada's I don't fault. know why. I was gonna you come tiptoeing around this point, and it's my, I'm trying to God. make my patience. <laughs> I'm trying to be patient with you. You trying to smack me, Will? You are literally tiptoeing around this shit, and it's. Get that nigga, I'm not saying get it's that nigga irritating, will. but you are literally <laughs> like nigga will. kissing his book's ass a little bit too much. Get that nigga will. Well, the book not, is really good. Though. You're not holding really this book. woman accountable for how the 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 the, the picture it all started when she fucked the Tupac. picture that let's we get have. To it. Let's let's talk about guys, it. Guys, understand, you. understand I'm the picture you. that we have of Will in a negative light. In my opinion, is eighty that damn plus red table talk. percent that red table talk. of things that came out of. Jada's mouth. Red table talk. Understand how she depicted this man. Whatever type of persona that he built, yes, that's the persona that he built. It was so easily tore down. And Can you then do me one favor? To... Just do me one favor, please. I promise you it's going to be quick. Can you go on Instagram for me? Go to Jada Pinkett's Instagram. Because I found this amazing. <laughs> so cool. he, he, so literally, so <laughs> he literally, 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 yeah. Painted this, produ- this, this, this this picture. Yes, he can, he is the one that's supposed to speak on the insecurities that he's dealing with. Yes, that's him. That's when you are. I want, I want to say that. Are you about to show that there's no Willie on there? Will Smith just won Best Actor, didn't he? And she didn't post him. Oh shit! Is there anything on Will Smith? Oh shit! But we've been talking about, but exactly like. Did you know that? Did you know that? Goes back to the what? point. Had you already looked at that? Yes. Wow, that's crazy. It goes Let's talk about point. it. And we can talk about but it. I've been wanting to blame Jada for this. I don't see Will. I've been wanting to blame Jada. I don't see I see the kids. I I don't The man I, just won the best award of his life. I no, see an old picture. Actor. I see an actor. old picture. That's the number of Will. one movie. That's the number one. That's the number one, one award. award. I see an old picture of Will from 15 years ago, but I think she was posting and talking about somebody oh, else. Oh shit. Right? There is no will I, I, like I said, on I, this. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm, I made your point. I'm, I'm helping you. Jada is an impactful, oh. strong, amazing black woman, but she doesn't will understand will that. that the she the, made that man smack her, that man. Her, her. her what, I don't know if you want to say masculinity. When she posts two every time tox, his birthday comes. Her toxicness. Uh, oh, I don't know about that one. I don't know. I don't know. She I, she she shout out Tupac on his death date on his birthday. So, so here's what I do know. Here's what I do know. <laughs> Just saying, and, and we could read. You ain't shit. Where are y'all? I was waiting. I was waiting. Yo, 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 yo. yo, yo, yo. Where are y'all? Talk about it. Hold on, hold on. Where do y'all agree or not? I was waiting on you to say it. I'm like, it's coming. I'm like, I, I literally. Shit. Here's here's what I want. Here's what I want. Here's what I want. Here's what I want. I swear to God, I was waiting. I, was, I would like the women who watch this podcast. My, my hold phone, on, my phone, my phone. No, I just knew it was coming. <laughs> I would like the women who watch this podcast. I'm sorry, cause you laughing in the mic. I'm. Nigga, because okay, <laughs> fu- okay, small Willow wins that joke. Keep your point. Is that when Jay used to get drunk, you ain't shit. And and I'm like, man, he don't drink it like that. So I'm like, I'm waiting. He want to say Jay ain't shit. Yeah. All right, and cool. so he finally so, built it up to be like, you ain't shit. I'm like, that's, that's good. So I would want, Sorry. I would love for the women to who I are know. watching this to go ahead and watch this and uh, look at it, understand that she hasn't taken the time 
to really exalt her man in a strong, masculine, loving way. Social but media he wise, has for us to see, Social for the wise. masses to yes. see, which in my personal opinion is way more important. Because if you're being how dis- you present, if you're being, dis- if you're being disrespected publicly, it needs to be exalted. That, that, yo, 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 listen, you need to. We need to. It's the same way how Damn, um, if Will smack that man. Uh, uh, publicly, just sending him a text or calling him on the phone isn't enough. It doesn't enough. suffice. I think he should have made a video. I don't think he should have just typed some stuff up. He should have made a video apologizing to Chris and the Academy. It should have been a video, in my personal opinion, in I 2022. Agree. I agree with that. So, and publicly for everyone I to agree see. With that. So, the same way that you're going to disrespect this man, whether you did it purposely, Jada, whether you did it subliminally, whatever it was, you need to work just as hard as making him look, make putting him back in that light because that's why we look at him like he's weak. That's why we look at him like he's not shit because of and how his household him. is being, his household is being ran in so, our so perception. I agree. And then that pushes towards us. That pushes towards us to just do what we do as social media people, responding, reacting, making thousands of jokes. The same way that you wrote in the chat. Where was that smoke for August Alcina? She could have easily checked. Yo, bro. She. I. I I don't want to blame. I don't want to make this as a blame the black woman thing. Mm. As but he blames a black woman. (laughs) Literally. I don't want this to be a. Literally, he's blaming a black woman. I don't want this to be a. Yo. But she has more. She has a role. She to has make. a bigger role in the destruction of how we view Will Smith I agree. than anyone else. I agree. Than Will even has. I agree. Mm. Even even off, even even if even if the <laughs> shit that they went through privately, where he gave her the, the the green light. Yo, what August handsome young man. Boom, sex symbol. Don't do your thing. Your head. Too, though. She giving him the green light to do his thing. That's their business. Boom. I don't know who came out with it first. I'm guessing August probably. It was August I've seen the first. All right, cool. It's, it's pretty much one of those keep your hoes to check. She, she, she could have keep her hoes in check. She could have yeah. handled that. She could have literally she said it on the. She should down front of it. She right? could have said it instead of just like. Oh, some real shit. It, yeah. She should instead of down expanding front of it. on, she was like, "Listen, we had something that." Me and my me and my husband talk about or whatever we had something, but what bro, you got she could have just on? said what it you're, was. It happened. You're, it's you're, over. Like you're whatever. We allowed it. you to stay in our home, and now you're being disrespectful. You, we bro. allowed That's you. It. We we looked out for you on right. a cr- great level. There was a love that was developed on both sides, where I loved you and Will also loved you, but our love turned romantic, and something happened. It happened. It was what it was. But, but all what this, you're doing, all this weird shit that you're what doing, you're right doing now? what you're doing, what you're doing, trying to disrespect my man, trying to. Trying to under you like, right. this is, Go ahead, Lamar. Look, Talk your shit. You right. Yo, she could have did right. all that. You right. The same, like. Mm-hmm. I don't but, disagree. But she did it. <laughs> she did. She did it. And now he's slapping niggas at the Oscars. And now he's pressed. And now he wants to. And the which, world been which, making fun which, of him. Which is crazy that this whole protect black women stance is running because literally he feels that he has to do the most to protect his woman. The most. But his woman did not do the most. Woo. Yo, oh, oh. Drop the motherfucking oh, oh. mic, nigga. Damn. And, and just to press on it, because I'm not done. But <laughs> when 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 they when the whole entanglement situation occurred, right? And she was addressing it on her podcast. Okay? Number not only did she she didn't use it as a as a they used it as a, a moment to as a topic to boost ratings. It wasn't a yeah. It wasn't a, of hey, course. listen, I'm going to speak on this one time, one time only. Will is my love. He's my man. This will happen, blah, blah. There was Let's no closure. There, there was no closure. There was, honestly, there was nothing adult about that situation when I saw it. Right? Mm-hmm. So what, 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 what was supposed to happen was, as a loving married couple, we're supposed to dispel what's happened. Mm-hmm. We're supposed to let people know where we stand with mm-hmm. our situation. Mm-hmm. And then we're supposed to show some conclusion and then move on. Exactly. What happened was, or just apologize. And that, that's and literally, that's, one, that's, 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 yep. that's like, literally really? one thing that never fucking happened. I right? never heard. So that. you don't have to apologize for doing what y'all agreed on. We're not talking no. about that. No. If y'all said y'all could fuck Tom, Dick, and Harry, then go ahead, fuck Tom, Dick, Harry, Mary, Sally, Sue. Do what y'all do. But what happens is your private matters became public, and now you're hurting the family, you're hurting the marriage, you're hurting the brand. And you're right. making it right? more right? public. So what right. happened is y'all should have used that platform, the Red Table Talk, to shut this shit down. Mm-hmm. Honey, I apologize 
for it becoming public. Words matter, right? She never so, apologized. So she could have said, she, she don't got to apologize for fucking somebody. Y'all yeah. agreed to fuck other people. It which is. you should have apologized No, 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 they for. was on a break at the time. It don't matter. No, but either way, they, they, either way, they have an open relationship. No, nah, right? I was doing that so, for him. You see. Cool. So I, I don't, I don't I know, mean, I don't, I don't know, I don't know it, the stipulations of a said open yeah, relationship. I don't know the don't stipulations, right? But the what fact happens that it is, came out it became and crazy. public. It did. So now, all of your private doings became public. Now the family's being attacked. Right. You're fucking up the brand right now. Right. So at the very least, you're supposed to use your platform to say, I apologize for that happening. And more importantly, while looking into the camera, August Alcina, that's never to be done. Right. And I I feel bad for even allowing you to feel like that can be done. Right. Because I dropped the ball there. Where's the accountability? Facts. That if Jada should've Jada should have checked August. Yes. So what happens now is oh! so that becomes the butt of the joke. Imagine so if Jada does exactly Chris, what you say. That won't will to check Chris, so that, but Jada never checked August. No, but, yeah, he but, made a whole song called Entanglements. No, but what, and what I'm saying is, once again, but that's why y'all looking at Will Smith funny. I'm not. I'm sorry. It's the straw that broke the camel's back, but I can't be mad that that back is broken on that camel. I, Wild shit has happened to this I man. I can, because he hit a man that had nothing to do with shit. No, he did have something to do. No, he didn't. No, no, no. He did. No, 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 no. Watch your mouth. No, no fuck no, no, that. No, no. And even if you the straw, no, no. And you you can feel that way. And even if you the straw. Catch your hands up when you see No, 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 no. No, nah, like no, I'm no, not no, going no, on but, that. But here's the thing. One here's thing the thing I hate is that we can't tell people hold how to on, fucking feel, on. bro. No, 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 but, but no, no, he, no. He, I just want you to view Chris Rock as a vessel. Because yes. number one, he didn't write the joke. You feel me? It's teleprompters. So take Chris Rock out. Put random white woman. Cool. Put um. Gail. He doesn't smack Amy Schumer if she makes that joke. He doesn't smack Amy Schumer. Okay. okay. But see, I, I uh, no, I Jay. Jay, sure I fu- no, 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 no. The woman on national television. No, 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 no. Cool. But, You're but, right. But that's what's fucking important. That's what's important. Because no, what's important, it, right? Now, hold on. No, let me, let me, let me. Now, now we're talking about physical violence against no. a woman. I don't think any man would. But bro, it don't matter. Not, it does matter. It does matter. You, you, you. Because me and you, you, you just missed the point. You just missed no, the point. No, I'm not missing the point. You're you saying if a white woman were to say it, he wouldn't react that way. You I'm just saying, the point. Duh, he's not stupid enough to do that to a white woman on national television. But guess but what? But he's stupid enough to do that in front of a, a yeah, black man. Because you were honestly, nigga like me. What honestly, you talking about? I'm gonna be very honest with you. Saying? I no. think if it was a that's uh, not a moving the goal point. That, no, that is, it's, no, 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 no. That's, that's not moving the goal point. That's, moving the goal. that's think, not moving the goal point. I think if it was, oh, he wouldn't do it to a quadriplegic. Well, duh. He wouldn't do it to a... a, a, a but he nah, protected nah, black nah, women, nah, baby. Nah, I'll be honest No, wait, no, 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 no. I'm no, no. smacking... That's stupid. What if, if I get to the point where I, I feel like I'm smacking you, you from the, you from the age of 10 to 75. So but who's to no, tell you what that man point is? Or woman? No, no. Honestly, who's y'all... Tell you what no, no, is? no. I'm not going. Whatever, whatever... Bro, both of y'all... What the point even, is, I'm saying I'm keeping my energy... No, what I'm saying is who's to tell you what your point is? We don't know his point. But this is the reason why I disagree with everything that you're saying. Stop. No, wait. Real quick, real quick. My bad, my bad. Because I ain't get to... Regardless of his point... We both trying... God damn it. Because I just want to say it real quick. Regardless of his point, you're saying that he would not keep that same exact energy with different people. What I'm saying is That's the point. point I'm keeping that energy no. With different people No you can't That's All that bro You said no, And this I is why I was trying to I This is why I say Let me finish It's literally with, stupid guys It's, it's not Mark stupid Kelly said, Guys It's stupid guys <laughs> Is this camera on me? <laughs> is the camera on me? The reason why it's stupid Is because Yes I understand your point I'm not dense I get what you're saying you're Oh no picking, you dense as hell cool. Thick ass forehead <laughs> You're picking and choosing Who you want to Cool If you're going to invite the, the random Smaller white woman Into the mix Sure Sure Cool. Or, or a quadriplegic so, cool. so Or a like, small person yes, Or whatever so Smacking so all what, three so what, Amy Schumer what, what Whatever saying, nigga. What if, but cool. you're saying You're saying Can, You're over talking me When I'm saying what I'm because saying Because I still remember That what, point that I was trying cool. to get out That but, didn't come but, out But we got your point we, Kinda We got your point Elements What I'm saying is You're moving the goalposts When you you're, you're, you're including someone Or something that is inferior To this man What I'm saying is That's right why now, you smack Chris Rock right, Right now, I'm looking at a black man disrespecting my woman. I'm a black man. You a black man. We could talk about this. You know, you're talking about Amy Schumer, who's 5'2", 90 pounds. But, now we're looking at you like a bully because that's stupid. I but get you that. do understand that that is the reason why people have been saying if it was you know, the I, right. I, we already had but, the, we, but we're I having this circle I, I, conversation. No, I, I disagreed the first time you said that because what I'm saying is it could have been any black man on that stage, and I feel like it so would have been the same so, thing. So then, so then, boom! I'm, I'm gonna sound like the white you, supremacist. You, you, you so, so you was ready. So you was ready to smack any black man. I believe so. Is that if you, yes? But then that's also I, a different. But, but that's my stance. I, it's been my stance the whole night. 
Uh, yeah. you're, you're saying that he picked and chose, that he specifically chose Chris Rock. I'm saying it's the straw that broke the camel's back, and I know when I get mad. a black man? When I get mad, I don't give a fuck who disrespected my name. Only get mad at black people? He's missing my point. You're being yeah, retarded you're, now, bro. So, like, so, stop, stop it. Like, so you're, I'm not. I'm, I'm, no, you are. You're, you're, making a, you're making a... So we, we don't want to make it too much of a racial thing. Yes, um, and you're doing that. What I'm saying is when I get disrespected, when I feel like there, I'm there, okay. I don't give a fuck who's on that stage, my nigga. We're going to talk about it. But, but if you introduce said random white lady... I'm, you're right. I'm going to pick and choose. But guess what? If it's somebody like me and you disrespected me, we're going to talk about it. I don't give a fuck if you're The Rock. But not, you don't see how that's a problem? No, no I don't. So the, so I don't, one of the, there, there are tiers that we're talking about. So one of, there's one the reason of, yeah, why there's so heavyweights, of, lightweights, and middleweights. So there's one tiers. of the reasons why it's not technically a problem is because if a if if Jay hits my girl in front of me, I'm going to hurt him. If a police officer probably hits or pushes my girl... And there's other police officers around. I'm probably not gonna snuff. It, it really depends, but I don't think I'm gonna snuff the police officer, only because I know that I might end up dead. Because there's tears. You what if it's me? one of our friends? There's a different tear. Do we snuff him? I just said I'll. I'll, I'll no, I, no, no. The police officer is one of our friends. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> if the police snuff? officer is one of my friends, <laughs> yeah. the police yeah. officer somebody yeah. you know. Because we, I don't. <laughs> Do I don't. Do we, do I don't. Do we, do we yeah, is he? Our is friend he, the police officer? Oh, oh, is Does he, he have a podcast? Can no, no. <laughs> uh, he talk about that? Does talk he take that? breaks? <laughs> Does he go on vacations? <laughs> Would he ever talk about? My it point later? is, it's no, 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 going no, no, to no, which cop, right? Is all I'm saying. But better question: Is he in in uniform or not? <laughs> That matters. That's Cause true, because you wouldn't even uniform, know that. I'm swinging. If you're civilian. So so Chris named, Rock no, joke would have worked if he had on a police uniform? No, what I'm saying is, Dame, that there's tears. You're being a dickhead, Dame. Like, he, he is being a dickhead. And there's and, tears. And, and when, you, when you introduce a smaller, inferior white lady, sure, you're right. But what I'm saying is, right. it didn't happen that way. And me, personally, mm -hmm. if I feel disrespected, He's I don't give a fuck. He's not swinging on the rock. I <laughs> give a fuck with you. You say that, but once again, I don't know. In my life, I, I fought niggas 6'5". I would have to see it. We've all fought somebody 6'5", but I never fought. Fight the rock. <laughs> cool. And and but that speaks to you. Well, because uh, we don't even know if he could fight for real. Like he was wrestling. Big. He was wrestling, wrestling bro. Fake. Wrestling fake. fake yeah, <laughs> it's very fake. It's but fake. You know what I realized? Yeah, maybe the rock is trash. To I, me, I, I, to I me. Know for a fact, all the, the biggest niggas in the world that live all them weights, they not the strongest niggas. Yeah, you want to know something crazy? Hey, here's this, another this you, awesome, live, awesome. you live all that weights to get hit with this 40, and that's crazy. That's it. And, and now you what? What's up? Here's like, another reason why my uh my week was great, right? Sorry, this is a super duper segue. Okay. All right. Appearance wise, when I take the shirt off, I'm not. I don't look that strong. When I'm beating everybody in arm wrestling, all right. I'm, I'm very skinny, strong. So nigga. every week you got to come through with something you beat. Man, this is the reason why he fought my whole room at my birthday. You That's remember? Crazy, he wanted right? to arm wrestle the whole room. I'm way stronger than that now. He wanted to arm wrestle in the club. We're at fucking. <laughs> What club was that that got the good ass fucking pork chops? Arm wrestling. <laughs> lamb chop, sorry, they got the great lamb chop. Lamb, lamb chop club? Was it um views? It's views downtown. Um That was here. Yeah. We we, we in views. This nigga pushing my lamb chops to the side to arm wrestle somebody. I'm saying, nigga, like, it's two o'clock in the morning. I'm hungry. The music is playing. This one throw that out there. This one throw that out there. I right. agree. I agree with what you're saying. That big niggas is not always that strong. You know what I'm trying to say, like, uh, yeah, nah, it, it, man. Rock, and I, I, I hate that compared. If it was Jason, what's his name, Momoa, Samoa, Samoa. Jason Momoa, if Jason Momoa. Like, dude, what the fuck does that matter? If I feel disrespected, we on goal. Like, I'm well, no. So pretty much, well, that's the that's the little man argument. All the little people was like, he's smaller than you. Why would you do that to Chris Rock? Well, and we know Chris Rock don't fight. Everybody hates Chris. All right, so we're gonna conclude with the Oscars by saying. Jada, you need it's her fault. You need to find ways to strategically. She's like a public, a puppet master in a weird way. Like who? Jada. She's like a puppet. She like you need to find ways yeah. to strategically exalt your man, because the way we view him is not his fault. Can you congratulate the nigga on your Instagram? That's what crazy. camera I'm on? Like, Wade. That's wild. I ain't Zoom even right. Know. Let me get right here. Give him a shout out on your Instagram. I didn't even know. Let's that. start there. You the man just up, won the highest award that you can get. She after defending like she, your, she after defending like you, she don't look like he's on his like like every okay, every relationship that I see, she's like oh they like you could tell like the women like is I I, I don't know how to else to say this but it's on their man dick like. Like, yeah. it's on a man, yeah. showing man love to their man. Especially if you got a like, successful man. man's biggest fan. If you dating me and I did something great and you not on my, you not like, 
in my corner and publicly showing love. Like, yeah, my man Number saved five dollars at Walmart. Hey, 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 but you know, like, well, perfect, well, example, right. perfect example. Perfect example. I really right. commend your situation. Super duper fan. Mm. She she throws you up there. You feel me? Appreciate Sometimes it. the only post on her shit is yeah. is you. Mm. I'm like, I'm like this bum nigga, ugly ass picture. Like, see, like, like you're you're beautiful. Show yourself, but she shows you. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Now we be that's, disgusted. That's a, <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to unfollow. We be like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. That's not what I want to say. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you scroll through this kind of like ah, ah, ah. <laughs> no, but but, but, right. but boom, <laughs> show you love, bigger chiller with her. She he he shows her so much love, bro. Yeah. He talks about his wife. She, she do act like the nigga. She acts like yo. Remember this, right? This was a meme. Yeah, him Legit. standing next to his woman. It was a meme. Yeah, Legit. she act like the dude, and he act like the word that I can't say. But that's the reason why <laughs> nigga gets slapped at the Oscars. Can we move on now, please? We gotta move on. Shout out to Cardi Bumba Clock B. Oh, you okay? Good. Okay, segue. Okay. Shout out to Cardi B. Listen, yo, I'm about to say what she did, and then I'm about to say this one thing, and that's gonna be the end of it. I'm not arguing with nobody. You okay. sure? Cardi B. Her Invasion of Privacy album that mm-hmm. was released, I believe, in 2014, 19? One of them? 2014. Great album, by the way. Right? Wait, 2014? It can't be. Sorry, 2018. My bad. My apologies. It was four years ago. Four years ago. Cardi you just B's 60. Invasion of Privacy album. Every single song on that track list has at least went platinum or higher. That's phenomenal. At that least went phenomenal. platinum, That's right? Phenomenal. Literally, there's no other album... Whether it's in any other genre, no, no, any no, other, one. no rap, women, guy, any genre, That's gospel right. has went minimum. Every song on there has went. Drake hasn't done this. Michael hasn't done this. Jay Z hasn't Jackson. done this. Usher. Right? Like, Usher yeah, hasn't like, done this. Yeah. Understand? And I'm gonna say that Cardi B is the greatest artist of all time. All right. Okay. All right. You just lost the room. <laughs> you just lost the room. You just right. lost the room. Name somebody else with a bit. All these songs with a or or or. or okay, no, no, no. I got you. She the invasion of privacy. No, 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 no. Is the greatest album of all time. No. Also a fail, nigga. Seriously. Um. You one of them analytics type niggas. No, no, no. He, but he, I, he nope, 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 nope. Not going good. because what happens is. Each song individually has went to a certain space, but there are still albums that sold more than her as a total album. These are your Beatles and your Michael Jacksons. Hey, bro, I hear you. You know, you know what? I, I'm just. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna refrain from going where my brain just went because mm-hmm. it, all it's gonna do is take away from this tremendous feat. Uh, uh, tremendous I, feat. I, you know what? You know what? I went and, too far. But I, I, like, I'll push. I, I, I it's your fault. You pushed us too fucking far. I, 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 like, I don't purpose. want to start poking holes. Yeah, in yeah like you can poke a hole in everybody. I apologize. You went too far. You are a queen, Cardi. What you have done? The album was fire. The intro was stupid. Yo, y'all heard Cardi B's second album? You don't literally do can say do that, that don't, don't you do have that. done something I that just, no one else has done. People you, are now chasing that curious. feat. Understand that we are. You don't have to do another album. My personal opinion. No, you do. No, no she does. No, she. she no, you have does. to. She definitely. Else, does. you become Lauren Hill. And we respect Lauren Hill so much. Lauren Hill. Watch your mouth. You don't like Lauren Hill, so you not. You don't like Lauren Hill. He doesn't. I'm over it. She had one album. He does not like Lauren Hill. I'm. I mean, I. I do think that she's been a little hype, but she's. Still Lauren Hill. So did you not just hype Cardi? That B? one album, one like, album? like if she quits, yes, we're gonna say, yo, t- t- there are two artists in the history who've given us one iconic album and they put themselves like, like in my personal opinion, Biggie, Biggie, Biggie. Yeah, he's one up there. album, one two, album, two, two, two. Well, he had two. Yeah, too. He did. He did. He did the, the second, second album. Second, he did. Like, okay. The week that he passed. Yeah, like, like, it, like no, for real. It was done, bro. Album. Like I can't do that. It was done. Well, the se- well, it was. It was great. done, I'm not fam. Gonna go over sales. I'm gonna go over how the album was. It was a great album. So yeah, Biggie. Yeah, Biggie had two albums. You know what I'm saying? So, but the either third, way, Cardi B, thank fam, you so fam, much fam. for what you've done. Shout out to no, you, Cardi, Cardi B. That's that's fucking phenomenal. I like it like that. That's my shit. I really love that. To come from where she came from, bro, she was telling niggas the whole time. Mm-hmm. And they was making fun of her on Love and Hip Hop. And they was not giving Shorty a chance at all. And she's like, yo, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to be an artist. Fuck all this stripper shit. I'm trying to be an artist. Trying to be an artist. And niggas I think I, not fucking with her. I don't know if you saw that that clip. It was an amazing clip, man. They was asking her why she um, why she show her ass and talk all this shit. Mm-hmm. And she was like, well, 
because I got ugly teeth. So, <laughs> like, clearly I'm going to show niggas my ass and my titties. And, you know, and I was like, yo, that's the realest shit I've ever heard. And, she is a and when she said, got a real. bag, fix my teeth, I was like, yo, that is, yo, nigga, that's some real got shit. Got a bag, fix my teeth, let you hold up with a sheep. I, I, mama I, 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 I when I tell you the respect level, yeah, I respect, the fuck, I respect the fuck out of that, dog. Like, yo, you, you can't play Bodak Yellow right now, and I don't act like you just paid um, Dreams and Nightmares. Listen. Um, but I'll I, tell you one thing that was done to Bodak Yellow, and that's twerking. And um, one thing that happened when people twerk, we have a fucking contest of mothers twerking. Um, you want oh, me, you want, you want me to go through yeah, it? Yeah, you want to yeah. go through it? Um, Let's do it. Let's do it. You, you, you introduced the topic. Was so they playing right, that song? So, so check it we, out. We weren't playing that song. Okay, so, I'm about to say, don't what, do that. We're we going to have Wade put the video as we play this video. And, oh, now they're playing. Um, back that ass up. Yeah. So, uh, I, Lord, let it play. I wish let I it play. Let it, let it play so Wade could sync the audio. This is actually very impressive. Well, one of them, one of them. That's all right, the three. No, fam, what are we doing? This is a grammar school. (laughs) These are seventh graders and sixth graders. Six, seven, eight grade, we had dance parties at school, and we were dancing together. Okay, cool. So, boom. Let's take it like this. So, would y'all like our three moms, depending whatever situation, to out twerk each other? Let's talk about it. That was the tackiest, most tactless, disgusting display of adulthood that I've was, seen in a long time. That was good that you streamed them words together. Yeah. Saw you work on that, but that was good. On, now. Nah, well, I fuck, nah, I, just, I fuck with we it. We've been doing this for too long. I fuck with that. But so anyway, can our can our can our moms out like what's up? What, what, no, my mom, so, your so, mom. So I, let me continue my sentences. Because <laughs> what's up, Lamar? Like, your mom, your mom. Who you talking what? to? Y- your mom. So I'll slap you and your mom. Bring my mom. That's, that's, <laughs> that's my mom. Is, is, my mom. None of this will happen in real life. But no, of course not. It's disgusting at best. Is it disgusting? Um, yes, it's disgusting at best. Uh, I need to know who the fuck approved that. I need to know. Are, are people being suspended? Because right, the, the school system needs to be... Wait, but who moms ever, will win? No, I'm joking. Go ahead. Let's, let's, go ahead. Go ahead. Why are we so in an auditorium? Yeah. Let's break it down. Let's break it down. Let's break it down. We're in a gym. So, mm-hmm. you went, so I, I don't know what school it was. I don't know where it was, but it was middle school. It right? was middle school, bro. So, um, a middle school was High having um, a dance competition between uh, women, the mothers... It was three mothers who were there, and they were having a twerk competition. That's some hoes. Their shit. their backs were facing <laughs> the, the, the mothers and hoes. Their backs were facing the, the <laughs> like all the the students were on the bleachers, right? Their backs were facing the bleachers, so it's just they're oh, showing they're gonna, off they're ass. Right. And I'm drunk enough to be the, the antagonist. Yeah, so they they <laughs> they're twerking. It's a competition. Like, they're going crazy. Um, <laughs> and I for one think it's completely despicable. But I definitely think the girl with the leather pants and red. Oh, she went the fuck off. Oh, no, she went off. Shorty did a middle yeah, split. Nice. I don't know which little off. boy she was trying to entice, she but she got him. <laughs> no, so, like I said, I got, I got two brains on this, right? Okay. I, I, got, I got two trains. Because we got to go to the other right. side, too, y'all. Um, Come on it, now. It is disgusting. And as a parent, if my kid were to be subjected to that, I would have something to say. Because what the fuck is going Your on? Your wife going to twerk for, us, for, this, for this, well, your no, son? That's, hey. that's not happening. Could you imagine? Like, oh, this is what's happening. I would have something to say, honestly. Like, no, 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 but imagine your wife being like, I got I to gotta go twerk against no, no, these no, other no, mothers. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. I got to go and twerk uh, with these other mothers because, you know, they're no, giving no, no. them a what gym or something. She already twerked and she showed them the video. <laughs> hey, Jay, Jay, what do you think? <laughs> no, no, wait. Did I win? Like, did, you think I won? You think they I won? stole it from me. I mean, because she thought her booty was bigger than mine. So, I like, if, I, if, if, if you're going to show me the video after you did some fuck shit, you better have won. <laughs> <laughs> you better had one. Like you shit. You shitting me? You gonna come back and lose? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck is good with you? Nah, where my You lost the papers? competition and you, you lost, lost our dignity. Divorce papers oh, immediately. Shit. Like what the hell are we doing? Will Smith about? and the audience ready. Like nah, we're <laughs> like about to smack this shit oh, out of whoever nah, loses. Th- to be honest, that shit is disgusting, bro. It's, it's, yeah. it's real bad. And it is it's bad, bro. It's bad. Okay. That's bad, my nigga. Like, but <laughs> I'm watching this video. When you sent it in the group chat, I was like, is this a spoof? Like, yeah, yeah. It, it seemed really <laughs> weird. It's like a skit. Nah, it was bad quality. All right, but but it's do you but right. do you cheer your mom on? 
or you disgusted? No, I would tackle my I'm mom and my no, 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 no. It's there. It's happening, bro. You in the auditorium? It's going. I'm tackling you. You done? Ain't no tackle. Stop. No, do at the same time. I'm no just tackle. asking. No real shit. No, do, but, but do you I'm, cheer? I'm, I'm now trying to get into the mindset of a seven, eight, nine year old. I can watch. It. That's disgusting. No, no, bro. Not I'm not seven, cheering. Eight, nine. It's uh, it's it's twelve, thirteen. Yeah, it's middle 13 school. Is high school, bro. 13. I was a freshman oh, in high school shit. at 13. What are we saying? Yeah, and, and, but oh, yeah, you okay. Four, you turned 14 that year. We both turned. Okay, we get it, we get it, we get it. So 7th seven, seven, eighth grade, 7th eighth grade. Four, your birth, our birthdays are later in the year. But okay. Seventh eight. ninth, like you're 14 in ninth grade, you're 13 You are eighth. being too technical. So you were 13 in eighth, you were. Cool. Uh, I'm still Word. in high school. Whatever. 7th, 8th grade, bro. 7th, <laughs> 8th eight grade. 7th, eighth grade, I'm... I'm that's disgusting, bro. Like, I'm feeling away. No, no, but here's my thing. I'm not cheering. No, nigga. That's what I'm asking. Okay. You it's can't happening. ask the same dumbass question. No, nigga, I'm not cheering. I'm you leaving. cheering? I would cheer for his mom. <laughs> you cheer his mom? <laughs> Your mom's in it too. Huh? They're battling, bro. You gotta understand how ridiculous I'm, I'm, this is. I hear what you're saying. I'm tackling you, my mother. You're tackling your mother. That is fucking. That's I'm nuts. I'm tackling bro. my mother. That is nuts. What are we yo, talking you ever about? seen? There, there, there's, there's. <laughs> that is nuts. It's just a concept. Yo, I'm yo, just curious. There's literal videos on Instagram of, of like there was like a trend of women in towels. Like like they come out of the shower in yeah. towels and they and have they, take it they off actually and have like a regular clothes with some on. Short yeah, yeah, yeah. They took it off. How ninety percent of those men reacted? Were they throwing their wives? And I'm 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 tackling my mother. There's nothing. What are you, like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? What are you like, doing? What, what go are you home. Doing? Go home, right? I'm gonna take you home. Give Matter me the fact, keys. You go home, and I'm never coming home again. <laughs> I'm never coming. <laughs> home. I live at the school. What the Matter fuck? Fact, <laughs> don't go home. You're not welcome. That's funny. Like, no, you're a wildin', and I'm telling dad. Like I don't even know where that nigga at because he's not here. <laughs> I'm like, but I'm, I'm gonna find my father. I'm gonna tell this nigga from somewhere. Like I don't know. I'm. I want my mom to win. I'm sorry. The it's stupid, name. but I want to win. Shut up, Dave. No, no. I, no your no. mom is not twerking in the eighth grade. Call bro, your baby. mother right now and let her know. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. You and uh, Dale are heaven. Uh, I'll call you. Call oh, back. Oh, that got awkward. awkward joke. Don't smack me, Will Smith. Jesus Christ. Man, at the end of the day, I don't know. When it comes to parents, I feel like. I don't know. You still wouldn't support. You wouldn't. Nothing. No, Bro, you wasn't I'm going. I'm be very honest with you. I am. I'm a little. I'm about? a little overly protective. What is Dave talking about? My mother's. I'm just curious. Mother, I'm just curious. Do you support your parents like that? Bro, I'm not support my, my mom. mom twerking in a gymnasium. <laughs> that was a full well, of minors. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck no, is no, no, going no, on no. Here? Fuck my. Yo, no, no. I'm not supporting my mom twerking. One. Period. I support Facts. my mom yeah, back there. twerking in front of. My friends. My mom is wild West Indian. She's not twerking anyway. At She's any age, understand? Could you, could you imagine? <laughs> like, and like at school. Now, let's say we had a we had a baby. Let's say we had your baby shower, right? And your mother off in the corner, or we had your baby. My mother off in the corner. They're doing a little. You know what I'm saying? Thing. Go, ma. But we're not about to, Time mom. You're not about to. Everyone at the baby shower is not about to gather around. Time and place. And it's not like we're about to do what you uh, did to little uh, kids. We're uh, like, uh, come, uh, come show everybody this little dance. Somebody put the light on. Put <laughs> the <laughs> light on. Yeah, yeah, mama, no, 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 no. Yeah, you not gonna do that with your mom. The second my mother I, becomes right, the center right, of attention, enough, I'm enough. throwing cake at her. I'm tackling her. I'm, <laughs> I'm picking her up. I love well, the fact. Okay, I can... wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a cake at her. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, because now we introduce a new concept here, right? So. Um, I've been fortunate to see my mom get married, right? Mm-hmm. So at my mom's wedding, That's she, different. she had, yeah, um, she had like a, you know, the, the first dance with your kids oh, or whatever. Sure. So me and my brother danced with my mom. Yeah. She was the center of attention and she's doing her little thing. And I feel like that was cool because it was in a respectful manner. But if that she is started not the twerking, same. If, she's a- if, if she was going to do that, cool. Both of her male children were there. What I'm saying is that's cool. Cause that's the only time that's you That's the can only twerk. time because we was there. It was, it was on her. It's all day your attention. day. We was dancing. I'm saying, but, you, now, but if she started you twerking, about you twerking in the auditorium for free, like the way Shorty with the pants yeah, was doing, she, she was she wild. Was wicked. Right. No, her oh. shit was moving. Listen, listen. Moving. Shorty was on I'm all fours <laughs> with a with a wig. <laughs> I'm throwing. You looking my, funny? You like I'm yo? Throwing, I'm throwing, I'm, yo, listen, listen. listen. Wow. I'm throwing. Wow. I'm throwing my down. school lunch uh, <laughs> food at her. My Nigga. lunch pass, you can have next Wild food. tater tots. <laughs> Man, you got this. I would give her the five dollars my mom gave me every morning. Murder burgers. You can have all that shit. Understand that now, Shorty, and then she did a middle split. Yes, she did a middle she's split. A stripper. Yeah, she probably a stripper. She's a stripper. Professional. She's a stripper. Um, she's a stripper. She said, "Let me, me." Mm. But back to what I was saying. Everybody needs to be fired. The, 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 school, <laughs> no. the school administrator needs to be fired. There's no way. 
honestly, if you think the superintendent of that school saw this go viral and these people still get their jobs, you're mad. No. Them nigga heads is rolling at that school. They, uh-huh. they hiring everybody. The janitor lost his job. <laughs> but this nigga, he like, I'm just sweeping. <laughs> Why you clean the floor so good and make her split on it? They, wow. The floors was waxed. <laughs> okay, shiny So was she. Yeah. All I'm saying is, well, no, no, I'm joking. Mm-mm. What's up? Nah, my mom's not twerking in no fucking gymnasium <laughs> full of seven-year-olds. I mean, seventh graders. Teaching them stripper culture. But, uh, you know, happening. as we, you know, uh, stripper culture is it's a real thing, man. I mean, it is a real thing. Was that school in Atlanta? <laughs> just a random question. I'm just asking. It's, it's a good question, Bro, though. That's a good question. It's a, good question. It's a great question. Where was the school at? Uh, I, I have no idea where the school was at. I just know it was in America. <laughs> in, America, in America And here's the thing Here's the thing There were majority black students yes. And they were all so black a, women And they was actually Getting on 10 If you remember the kid inner hey, hey, hey. It was an inner ball. city So it was yeah, Philly it, was, it, was cool. it definitely wasn't New York That don't like no New York shit Nah we're not letting that happen Cause we wouldn't be twerking We'd be woo walking And fucking <laughs> yeah, Niggas should be hey Oh wait um, So I'm ready to Seg out So Oh okay Um, Here's a scenario Seg out I'm about to seg out and seg in. Huh? It's called a segue. I, I just agree with you face wise. I, I know think what the fuck made you said. Some shit up he did. Then. I'm about to seg out and he seg did, in. He did, but you I did the good thing. I was like, now we I don't know what the fuck you said. I'm finna seg right now. Hold it down. Right. So, what would you do as a man? Hmm. Okay. A man thing. Your oh. fiance. Smacking Chris Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> My bad, Chris Rock. <laughs> My bad, Chris Rock. That's good. <laughs> My bad, Chris That's Rock. That's great. <laughs> what are you doing as a man? <laughs> Running, nigga, <laughs> ducking. <laughs> Listen, your your fiance took your 16 year old daughter to go get an abortion, and you found out about it. Are you then calling the wedding off? So this happened. My fiance, which means I'm about to marry this woman. She takes my teenage daughter to get an abortion without me knowing. Mm. Exactly. Are you calling the wedding off? She overstepped the fuck out of that boundary. You think so? Yes, absolutely. Now, I, I'm not saying I'm calling the wedding off. That's what I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to be careful with my words here. She did overstep that boundary. Um, without telling me? Without telling that's, that's the part that makes it and that's important. What, that's what I'm trying to say. That makes it very important. That's it's exactly. like, why didn't you tell me? Now, I, under, I understand that happens. my daughter, I'm, I'm glad that you and my daughter have that relationship that she can feel comfortable to you and to going to you to because that's a big thing. Yeah. But I feel like I'm a pretty chill individual. I, I feel like I'm the, oh, I'm, I'm the fun dad. I don't know. You would have smacked Chris Rock, bro. But, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like I'm, like, your daughter. I'm You ain't I'm that fun, fun, nigga. Dad, that right? Fun. Like, I'm just, I'm just putting me in it, right? The way I would like to raise my kids, I want them to tell me everything. Like, I want them to be able to, <coughs> like, yo, dad, this is some fucked up shit, but this is what's happening in my life. Would you want your daughter to tell you that? Yo, dad, yes. I'm pregnant. I'm thinking about having an abortion. Absolutely. I, yes, I, I would want that relationship. Are you calling off the wedding? No. That's what I'm saying. I, I'm not going to. I'm not going to go that far. What are you going to do? I'm going to sit everyone down and portray one message one time, and hopefully I'll never have to say the message again. What do you think the message will be? <laughs> we don't keep secrets from each other. Like, My family. Like, I'm, I'm not no... I'm not a tyrant. I'm not no crazy ass nigga like that. Like we can talk about it, no matter how bad it is. We can talk about it and we'll figure it out. Now, will I be upset? Will I be disappointed? I might, but you're not gonna. There's no corporal punishment. Like I'm not gonna kill you dead in the kitchen. Like the fuck. Like we could talk about it. Heads must roll. Like that's me. So talk to me, Dan. We run it back to you, man. Your 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 fiance My took your 16 so year old dark. daughter. It was so dark. To go, uh, get, your fiance took your sixteen year old daughter to go get an abortion, and you found out about it. What are you doing? Are you calling off the wedding? Mm, no, 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 no. I, but I, it would be a conversation, though. Like you say, I, I would, I would, I would honestly, I would be really upset that like my daughter doesn't feel comfortable enough to share that with me. Mm. Like that, you know, That's that right. hurts. Um, you know, I'll give a real story. Not nothing about abortion. Relax. Um. <laughs> I I've been no 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 but y'all have seen it me and my face, me, no no because it's like because you, you nigga I've known to say some crazy shit but no y'all y'all seen it I've I've been recently building with my sister 
Mm-hmm. Y'all know that. Like, you know this, bro. Like, me and my sister have been, like, not estranged, but we just wasn't. Not the closest. Yeah, we wasn't the closest. So, now that I live here, she lives here, I've been growing with my sister, bro, learning all kind of shit. And and I'm I'm just baffled, like, at all the things that just we just never said to each other. Mm-hmm. Like, it's fucking me up. Like, just on some, wow, I never knew that you, wow, you know? So I would want it. I would want that relationship with my daughter. I, you know, I would want my daughter to tell me anything. Wow, you don't like Lauren Hill either. That's crazy. What happened? He said, "Wow, you don't like Lauren Hill either. <laughs> <laughs> We're really blood related." <laughs> <laughs> nah, but sir. So, so, you, so, that, so, so who would you be more upset with, your wife or your daughter? Nah, bro, you're not gonna do that without you answering. Fuck Facts. that. Facts. Nah, nigga, you. Can I you try to do it. You try yeah, to do it. You tried to Barbara Walters us. Crazy. We sitting on the couch. This nigga asked to answer, but he ain't say same, shit. Same thing back. You thought right. you were slick, bro. Same situation. <laughs> you your fiance takes your 16-year-old daughter to get Read an it abortion. to yourself out loud. <laughs> she takes your 16-year-old daughter to get an abortion. <laughs> Are you still marrying this young lady? Mm. Or old lady? Or man? This person? Uh, if, yeah. <sighs> All right, so... Damn, I never actually put myself in the scenario. Word? Your um, whole plan was to ask us all night? Yeah, I had like a couple more questions. Because <laughs> I already know what he did. Uh, he he called off the abortion. He called off the wedding. Wait, what? he called off the abortion. He called off the wedding. Wait, wait, wait. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, flag on the you were giving that kid. <laughs> we keep it in. <laughs> flag on the plane. Flag I'm on a, the plane. I'm going to come, come in the hospital, in the, in the hospital room like, ha-ha. <laughs> Jokes on you. Come on, the curtain. Oh, man. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. This man, uh, fiance, took his, uh, 16 year old daughter to go get an abortion. He found out about it and called the wedding off. I don't, I, I'm not going to call the wedding off. Um, I am, I'm, I'm way, I'm more upset with my wife. Wow. I'm not, ups- I'm not that upset with my, my, I'm more upset with my fiance. I'm not that upset with my, um, my daughter. Reason why I'm not upset with my daughter, first of all, I'm a man, you know what I'm saying? That's a, uh, my daughter's a young woman. Uh, off rip, she don't want to tell. Regardless of what our relationship is, she don't want to tell me, right? Now, depending on our relationship, that's where her comfort level with going and tell me comes into play. Mm-hmm. But the fact that I'm a, her father and at 16 you had sex and now you are pregnant, it means you are having unprotected, most likely you have unprotected sex. You don't want to tell me that. So... That's her natural reaction to go to the nearest woman that she could find. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm a firm believer of you and your wife or you and your 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 mate, your soulmate, whoever that person is, you guys are a partnership. And you you I'm putting my wife, you know, my wife is more important. I'm not saying more important. You know those scenarios of who comes first, the, mm-hmm. the kid, the mom, or whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm choosing my wife, right? I'm mm-hmm. choosing my, my, my other half because... Once everyone is gone, you are what I have. You know what I'm saying? It's me and you. I'm putting you. I'm putting our relationship, our bond first. So if my daughter comes to you on that type of time, you yeah. need to understand that I'm understanding, and you need to even coach me through this, right? But you need to come to me first. You mm-hmm. can't go and make these decisions about fuck it, our kids without me. Not that big of a decision. Our kids without me, but then again, it's technically still I, 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 I not trump you, but I have a little bit more ownership because we're not technically married just yet. So you have to come to me before you make a decision. So I'm I'm grateful that my daughter has someone that she can come to and and and, and confide in, but I'm disappointed in the fact that you didn't think that you can come and can confide in me, and we're making this step. So I'm not this, gonna this cancel is- it, but I'm a I'm, it's gonna be something I gotta think about, and maybe I might push it back or some shit. Uh, I, okay, I, the situation does have layers because now we're talking about um, the once again the relationship between the the the, the daughter and the fiance. Uh, we're talking about their level of um, rapport is coming to mind to mind right now. But I, I, there's a better word out there. Whatever, I'll find it later. Um, but what if she did come to her like, yo, I'm in a bind. I'm in a real fucked up situation. I just need to tell you, can you just hold this down for me? And now it's like, what if that trust, like as, as the fiance, this is an older child, right? So what if she's like, if I can get baby girl on my side, 
this marriage can work better in the future. I'm, yeah, saying, like, I, it, I'm about to tell you about that too. So it's like she can see it. That, that's why I'm just playing devil's advocate just to you know progress they, the conversation. They, they but do that in the she, comments. So she can, I can see why somebody would not loop the father in. I, I would also, I would always love to be looped in, but I can see why you'll sit there and say, you know what? Your daughter, our daughter came to me, confided in me and asked me not to say anything. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to build this relationship with her. And I don't want to start off by saying, well, I obviously know I can't trust you because you're going to tell daddy. So I can I can get that too. So to to say oh, I'm gonna call the yeah, wedding office all on you like that's kind of tough. Yeah. That's tough. Not call that's tough. so because you on something like I'll push it back because you no 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 I, I'm I'm so I would want that is a good point. I would want to know, right? I would want to know before before something happens. Mm -hmm. But then it's like it does go to the point of even if. Like how you say you're the you want to be the fun dad you want your kids to be able to come to you. I'm gonna agree with your point and change my stance a little bit and say, I want my kids to be able to come to one of us. Right. But they did. If you and, then, and that's yeah, what I'm saying. But so then I'm, to call I'm, the whole wedding off. It's but kinda, it's yeah, that's, some that's what I'm. That's what I'm changing. That's you your feelings. That's, that's what I'm changing a little bit. Changing, of saying, he's, changing, he's walking it back a little bit. Yeah. That's why I'm walking it back and saying I would want them to 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 come to one of us because it's the 16 year old daughter. She could have been like, you know what. I, I can't talk. I don't trust daddy. And I don't trust this new random woman. Um, <laughs> Fucking Shanice. So, <laughs> like, whoever. Dad or Shanice. <laughs> Sharon. Yeah, you like, hey. So, so I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a go figure it out on my own. And there are a lot of young ladies who are pushed into that position yeah. where they're not, you know, to them, they're not ready to have kids and they ha have anyone to go to and they go handle that. So, okay. On their own. So, 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 question for me, you guys. Um, do, Did you have a parent? <laughs> Stop with me Because I already know the answer Alright Did you <laughs> Who did you feel comfortable Talking to That Because <laughs> I had to flip Daddy wasn't there <laughs> That's why I was like David that. to the fan me, I, I, My bad who did you feel? <laughs> yo, yo, you, up. Like, you go ahead because we we did this last last week. I clipped it already. You it's go on, ahead. It's on TikTok. <laughs> you go ahead. Daddy wasn't there. Joke every week from us. All right. If you also have daddy issues, welcome. Listen, one eight hundred. Fuck that. <laughs> Actually, I mean, no, no, no. Pause. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> That's even weirder. <laughs> <laughs> depending no, on what, depending on what time you call, depending on who answers. Answer Y'all see my question? Yes, to answer that question, what, who did you talk to? I, I, I myself. To, no, my my uncle did. You had your uncle. Yeah, my my I, my uncle was around at all times, and when he wasn't there, is that your dad's brother or your mom's? My brother? mom's brother. Okay. All right, so my my uncle was definitely a, a major male okay. influence in my life. Sure. Um, but growing like depends on how old you were. If we're saying sixteen. Mm -hmm. 16 is the age that me and my mom started to understand each other. Mm. Like, my mom saw me, like, she was like, all right, I see what you're doing. I see what's going on. Like, right. you you on varsity. You, you you running around with ladies and blah, blah, blah. She, so she kind of saw. So it wasn't no more, oh, that's my, I'm going to beat, 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 chastise, chastise, chastise. She's now talking to me, right? And I also moved out of my house really early. So I wasn't living under the same roof as my mom at that age. So when we spoke, it was on some, like, we see each other. Right. Mm -hmm. So our, our my relationship is a little different with my mom. So at 16, I would have absolutely had that conversation with my mom, and like with kids and everything. What about you at 16? Listen. You good. heard what his mom that's, did every some every school listen, year? Man, that's, that's, Twerk. That's, 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 <laughs> that's, <laughs> she beat your mom. <laughs> no, she didn't. <laughs> this fucking hypothetical twerk off. Like, <laughs> No, she didn't. Yes, she did. No, but in my head, I'm like, my, my mama, mama fuck. Oh, your mama's up on hypothetical twerking in my school. My mom is Jamaican, bro. She's jumping off oh, okay. box Okay, my mom's from the west side of nah, Chicago. Nah, nah, what that mean? Back flipping off trees, Y'all do. Y'all. <laughs> Jamaican, Jamaican too. My mom is doing some wild shit. Have like, you like, seen a pasa pasa, nigga? Yeah, nah, my mother nah, was nah. at the third one. <laughs> <laughs> Right there with Baby uh, Sham. Yo, and they sell that shit at Golden Crust, man. They yeah, get, like, get, all up on the phone post. Listen. You're like, get down. What are you, why are you standing up? She was there. Oh! With, <laughs> she was there Swat with a red. <laughs> she was there with a red and green wig, bro. Stop That's playing it. with her. That's and a, wild and a mesh outfit. All right, you win. So, um, <laughs> so, nah, so personally, um, 
So I I had my my brother. At that age, I had my brother. Right? Okay. My brother is 11 years older than me. Um, even though we do have the same dad, me and him, you know, we we went it got into it because I I would talk crazy about my dad because I don't think he would. I don't think he wasn't a dad to me. He was a dad to different him. Different experiences, but mm-hmm. he different experiences. That's the same he shit lived, I've been going through with my little sister. Oh, yeah, I'm saying, I get it. I, get it. I remember, you know, we got into it. I'll, yeah. I'll, at like 18, 19, I'm cursing him out. He's like, watch him out. I said, I'm, yo, that's my experience. So what, we so what do, do you? About it? <laughs> we, we're the same height now. What's up? <laughs> what we right. do about um, but at that point, that was my my person was my brother. Um, at sixteen, my brother made me his best man. Uh, that's what's up. That's what's up. That is. Yeah. yeah. Sidebar. I'm 27 now. That means he got married at 27. I don't know what he was. Wait. <laughs> because, <laughs> because I'm wilding. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm 27. And I'm like, could you imagine me calling my younger nephew like, hey, we got to go get married. You coming? No. I'm saying, but at, at 16, how was the yeah. bridesmaids? But so, you also don't know what type of life. I mean, was, was he? Was you know all some 30. type? Of, once again, at 16, at, how at, was the bridesmaids? They wasn't looking at a, a skinny 16-year-old with a lollipop body. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they looking at me now, though. They, 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 yeah, they, they yeah, looking at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, now now, now the motherfuckers hey, is 50. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, hey, look, 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 look. Hey, man, 21 to 45, holla at Chaguala. 50, 50 if you're good money. That's Damn, right. you community dick? Not community. I'm selected, but I'm selecting. No, not community, He's assisted living. <laughs> these motherfuckers is seventy eight. Bring, bring them benefits, baby. Hey, <laughs> they walking no. in with walkers, with and, a tennis ball, and they the walking bottom. out in a wheelchair. Was you, <laughs> was you catching the old people when you had the boot? Uh, but nigga, I was catch. Listen, I'm listen. just kidding. No, because I, I, I had the possibility of catching whatever came Wait. my way, due to. My Clean that up already, We've been watching The Magic Johnson show Due to my already good, Decent <laughs> level of attractiveness w- Plus with the sympathy That comes with You was on that They like signed your boot uh, they, they, they signed my cast Oh okay <laughs> 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 See what you did there See what you did no, there No But um, Yeah my brother was that guy man My yeah. brother was my father My brother gave me A lot of advice A lot of the way I am today If you see me and my brother around You know you We're very similar Um and we've connected now on a deeper level the past like two, three years. Um, from me doing like network marketing and reading certain books on leadership and manhood and stuff, him getting a bigger role at work uh, as a as a like a like top of the top manager or whatever, and That's him dope. having to learn about leadership and manhood and that just we bonded on that and had a deeper relationship. So my brother was my father. That I would have Fuck went all to. that. Who wins in a fight, nigga? What you talking about? Ooh, Who, yeah, me man. and my brother? Yeah, nigga. All that That's metaphysical, good, metaphorical shit. They dropping right now. Who wins in a fight? Me. me. Okay. All, nah. right, all right. Nah, I mean, it's not even nothing. To... Nah, nigga. You say what you said. Nah, my brother. Stand on it, cuz. Yo. Nah, my... yo, yo, yo Lamar's Kemar, brother. Kemar, he Kemar. said he'll fuck you up. Yo, Kemar. 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 Kemar What's Kemar. good? Kemar. He would. But he'll. He'll. <laughs> He'll pay to get me touched. He got money. Put a hit out. Damn, my brother. My brother got money. Yo, my brother. The, the other brother. That's not love. Uh, <laughs> That's nah. Not, I mean, yeah. Is it? My my brother. What? If you don't put a hit out on me, it better be for some big money. Don't put That's no hit it. out for no twenty five dollars. It. Do it yourself, pussy. Yeah. Oh wow. All right. So. <laughs> nah, my brother. Will Smith, it walk up and just. Psh- I mean, shit. Fuck. If Will Smith ever, yo, I saw somebody post, bro. Somebody posted. He was like, "Damn, Tony Rock, y'all couldn't jump him." <laughs> <laughs> yo, the only one that went hard is is Jordan Rock. I don't know if y'all know Jordan. Jordan's yeah. the little bitty brother with the big head. Like his head is really nah, funny I, I shape. I never knew. The little brother, he like twenty two. Like he's he's a baby. He was like, "Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Don't come to my brother." And then we got, and it was like, "Yeah, everyone's waiting on Tony Rock to say something. Everybody waiting for us because they got a big family." Mm. Everybody's waiting for the family. Ain't nobody saying nothing. Hey, man, so question. So he dropped the charges. Though. He, he not, he's not pressing charges. Right? Well, no, I mean, I would, why okay. would he press charges? Would you? Would you? Would you press charges? Me as in Jay Willow? Yeah. No, 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 no. What? No, 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 no. Oh, it's Will no, Smith no. that just hit me no, 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 no. <laughs> in front of my friends. <laughs> yo, 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 everybody. yo, 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 Jim Carrey. Nick. Jim Carrey was like two hundred million. I'm suing Nick the next up. day. No, no, fucking no, no, no. big. Yeah. It's, it's deeper than just suing Will Smith. I'm suing the fucking award show. Where's the security? I'm suing everybody. No, no, no. hold on, hold on, hold on. The award no, show next year is called the Jays. Yeah, <laughs> not as Jay Willow. <laughs> as Chris Rock in that position, are you suing? 
Nah, because my, my money long. I'll just get you touched. And, and te- <laughs> I'll get you touched. Get you touched. We'll just make sure that next movie don't. Technically, yeah, technically, we're good. Next roll. From $46 a pop to three forty one a pop. His tickets overnight. Chris oh, no. Rock's Chris Rock. Sales. Are you that not was- curious what the fuck Chris Rock about to say? It's only um, I'll, I'll it's, catch you. I, I don't. I I mean, catch you on I'm not really that excited. I'm curious about what everybody else is about to say. Somebody's All doing right. video from their pocket. I'll I'm, see it on yeah. YouTube. I'm, yeah. I'm curious about what Ke- how Kevin's gonna make that a joke. Uh, I'm curious about how. All the other Whoever. good comedians. Yeah, I'm curious yeah. about how Dave is gonna make that a Dave, joke. Dave, I'm waiting on. Not that necessarily. You know what I miss? You know what I miss? I miss Celebrity Deathmatch. Yes. For, for the younger crowd, mm-hmm. it was a TV show. Like Clay. Clay models, but they really went at it, and you see like the random yeah. combination of celebrities. Like Bow Wow and JD, who had like real beef in life. This would be an amazing Celebrity Deathmatch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, so now that you brought up Bow Wow and JD, what do you think of Bow Wow's statements? How you kind of like basically said that, you know, he JD. Said he, he said JD didn't make him. He, JD ain't do nothing. He said JD, you know, no, he didn't say he did nothing. He said. He said they ain't really have a click. Like they, they didn't really. JD didn't give no advice. No, no. He said that he came to JD or JD found him, whatever the case may be, already as a finished product. He didn't write lyrics for him. He didn't do it. He just put him on like a bigger platform mm-hmm. so i guess i guess we're talking about who made who that's that's what i guess made Bow wow was speaking who to. ha 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 he made crisscross he ain't make me i ain't go through artist development i ain't have to be taught how to rap this ain't the tv show the rap game i came ready no disrespect yeah. but he ain't teach me nothing about this business bro and that's real he don't give advice the the only part that's true is that bow wow was fucking with snoop yeah. For he was a product JD uh, Snoop Not gave It sounds weird to say gave him But Snoop introduced him to JD Because Snoop was like I don't know what to do with this little kid fucking thug gangster Yeah bro. at that time At that time He's like I don't know what to do He's a shit But you know what I'm saying So he gave, yeah. he gave me And we know road. JD rocked with the kid rappers yeah. We know that So that makes sense Yeah So do you think he made Bow Wow That's the question <laughs> Of course nigga. We didn't even know he was on Snoop album I don't so, know you ever heard the Doggy Style album? Ooh, you were young. You ever heard Doggy Style album? I, have, I know it's a classic, but I never actually sat down. Never actually heard it. Cool. Bow Wow has this great, it's a great skit. Uh, what you want to be when you grow up? And everybody's like, I want to be a teacher. I want to be a da 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 whatever. Oh, and Bow Wow's like, I want to be a motherfucking gangster. Yeah, I heard I, I, I heard that. That was Bow Wow at like six or seven mm-hmm. or some shit. He's very impressive. We don't, I, I think that, damn, I don't want to talk about Bow Wow. I, uh, so, but to answer the question, JD absolutely made Bow Wow. Mm. I, I I think so. So you don't think Bow would be who he is today if it wasn't for JD? Not without the tutelage, not without the 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 machine that JD had built at that time for kid stars. Mm. Because once again, Snoop is on death row. Snoop is doing his thing, sure, but Snoop, that lane with Suge and Dre and all the they, they, that's not the lane for Bow Wow. <laughs> Imagine Bow Wow grow up in that. Like mm-hmm. he'll probably actually be, you know, <laughs> scary. No, I, I, I don't. Who I, he is now. His career doesn't pop. The reason why Bow Wow career popped was because he came out as the young kid. He mm-hmm. came out as the the little cute guy that the girls loved. I don't so think Bow Wow, if he would have tried to um, drop now, he would be su- as successful as a kid rapper. If Bow Wow came out now, nah, kid, Bow Wow just like could Bow Wow was like he's like thirty four now. Yeah, let's say he came out like six years ago at twenty eight. It depends on the subject matter. Cause we, 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 it's kind of tough to project. Even ten, even ten, I I listened to um, Bow Wow was dropping these green light mixtapes. Oh, he um, was snapping on those. Yes, he was snapping on those. But, but the world didn't receive it at all. I tell you what, I really liked them. Oh, by the way, snapping. it was, was like one that was ah. No, but green light three. He was he was snapping Fire. on them shits. He was snapping on them shits. But what happens is we see you as little Bow Wow. You just don't know when you move so fast across the floor. And that's what JD did. That's what I'm trying to say. Like the, <clears throat> he did make Bow Wow. He did. And for Bow to say that, that's kind of, I don't know if they beefing. I don't know, bro, I'm on the outside looking at it. I don't know. But for you to say that this man didn't make you, he definitely played a big part in the reason why we know little Bow Wow. Mm-hmm. The I, music, the songs, the, you, you may have wrote your own, own lyrics. Yeah. Cool, I'll give you that. But you can't say the man did I, not make I you. I think he's taking it from a, um, I think he's taking it too literal. When he said make, because he's talking about, no, nah, I didn't have to go through artist development. I ain't, I already knew how to rap. Mm-hmm. Well, all that's like Drake saying, Wayne didn't make me. 
because I didn't have to go through artist development. I already knew how to rap. I already knew how to do all these. That's a things. good analogy. I like. You feel that. me? I like that. But Drake already had these. But Drake pays homage very humbly for the impact that Wayne had. Wayne put him on stage. Wayne mm-hmm. took him on tour. Wayne gave him the beats. He gave him the. Um, the, he gave the, the game. He gave him the the, the, the young money environment and made him the star player. He didn't he gave him the platform. Yo, right. literally. Yeah, he, he gave, gave him the platform. Gave him all of that, and he he pays homage as much as possible. And I think something with Bow Wow and people like Bow Wow that have this. I'm not gonna say. I don't want to just say Napoleon. Um, he he's he's. He's very. He's not humble, as humble as he could be. So the respect is not there. I got. I got. A, I got a different take. <clears throat> Damn. I, it, it's not. The, the, I wouldn't say humble. Well, me personally, I wouldn't say humble. I think it's. Everyone wants to feel, or, or everyone's persona is that they made it by themselves. Mm-hmm. Everybody loves to say. I I don't know if it's like if it's the cool thing to say that they had no team, they had no loved ones, yeah. they didn't have nobody no, that no, came no. up it's, by it's themselves. The, it's the it's struggle thing, like no, but, like yo, but everybody I was, wants I to, was way broker than you, and I made it. Hip, like everybody wants to be like, oh, I, nobody loved me, nobody cared for I me. I feel, I, I feel like hip hop by I, myself. I feel like that's a hip hop thing. It's a hip hop thing. But like that shit is like so we stupid. we we love the the story. We love the story, like right? Big's mom. Big mom was like, we wasn't living in a one room shack. Yeah, I did pretty well. Yeah, was she was like, we was alright, bro. He went to public school, we like went to not public school. Sundays. He went to, uh, uh, I'm sorry, private school. He went yeah. to the school that you got to pay for. Yeah. So clearly, you wasn't in one room shack. But for for some reason, the story is I made it on my own. Mm-hmm. I ain't had no help. Y'all wasn't fucking with me. And some of that might be true, but some of them like it's like, bro, you're trying to feed into whatever narrative, like to, the hip hop narrative. That's that, what I'm saying. Like it's you hip-hop. have to be alone. Dog, Bow Wow was a child prodigy that was a rapper as a kid. They got handed off to one of the greatest kid producers whose ever. Whose mom was in the industry. Whose mom was his manager. It's like, come on. You become a multi-millionaire making multi-platinum songs that we still know and still cherish. You didn't do this on your own, bro. Like, exactly. Yeah, so, you yeah, you, you did wild. your job. He's that's wild. it. He's you did your job, and that's the thing, it. and another reason. Here's another to thing. Disrespect JD like that. He, crazy. he did. So wait, wait. He did his job the best at his position. At what he could do, like like for a child. The Michael rapper, Jordan of children rappers. Michael Jordan of yes. children rappers. Yes. Lil Rome ain't fucking with you. Chris Cross ain't fucking with you. Nope. And I like Chris Cross. The the, the new kids cool. ain't fucking with you. I don't know who else. Could but captivate that nobody. Ca- captivate Soldier Boy. Grown no. Soldier Soldier Boy no. wasn't. He was older. Like he was, yeah, was Soldier Boy was, was sixteen. He came out of city. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bow Wow was killing at, at eleven. That nigga was Younger getting chased through the malls, bro. Yeah. Like, bro, we, so the superstar he had was different. So if I could just sum it up real quick, do you 10. think that Bow Wow was acting like Jada? Yo, I want to thank everybody for watching the show. It's been a great episode. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. It's been amazing. I don't know what the fuck is on this man biscuit right so now. Wow. You looking for more topics? He should be exalting. We're done, bro. We're out he should of be here, exalting. Yo, we're, yo. we're not gonna talk he about should... the NBA player. We talk about we that, talk next about time, that, bro. Look, he shouldn't be exalting. J J D like. Yo, I don't know what's on that button. man biscuit. Like Will um, Smith, like you should um, be. Anybody got you got the blessing, blue beautiful <laughs> rentals. Yo, listen. <laughs> talk about it. Ah, listen. Terrible commercial. All right. He clapped twice. Third clap. Listen, Blessing. shut the fuck up. <laughs> Bless the beautiful you, luxury rentals coming to you very, very soon. Uh, got a package deals coming out. And just truck it. Whitaker and Lynch Logistics coming to you very soon as well. Cool. What, what you working on? He, I don't know. Not I just, a damn he, thing. He got some ass shit going on. Always music on the way, man. This is the on track. New music coming. Jay, what you working on? Music Come been on coming now. for you know, six you, months. Listen, man. You, you know the vibes. You see what's going on. If you don't know, get real fucking familiar. Because it's about to be. Oh. It's about to be win season. Gonna be winning. Yo, out of here. Mic drop. Boom. Let's, Let's go. Man, I just want to thank you so much for tuning into Willow Wednesdays. We love and appreciate facts, the facts, support. Facts, facts. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube page. Big facts. Yes, yes, yes. And click the bell for notifications. Mm-hmm. And make sure to join that family page, the Willow Wednesday family page on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Peace. Bow.